a class reductionist position is absolutely perfect if you want to get your ass completely blown out and end up with no allies. If you want to help make sure that fascism will win again, go with the class reductionist position. It's fantastic for that. Class reductionism is fantastic for losing your support and alienating your most powerful allies, the people who your worldview is supposed to protect. But if you want to be based, if you want to be actually intelligent, reject class reductionism. Class reductionism is bullshit. I stand firmly against class reductionism, and if you, if I find people who are fucking espousing this rhetoric, I am going to come down hard on it. That's a warning. You all can cite this stream in the future, because here's the deal. I want all of you, if, if we're going to fucking do this thing, I want all of us to do it together. I don't want a fucking future where all of my friends who aren't exactly like me don't get the benefits of what I'm fighting for. I'd just rather give up now. I'd just rather fucking say fuck it. And I'm sorry, maybe that sounds like uh maybe that sounds like you don't like it, but guess what? I don't want to die in a ditch alongside people who are slightly different than the status quo. And I know how these fucking stupid reactionary white-centric move movements go. I know how they go. We've seen it through history. You think do you think that uh oh 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 do you think that it would have been nice to be trans or gay or or, or Jewish in fucking Soviet Russia under Stalin? Fuck off. You know that's a lie. Every single person who sits out there, every single motherfucking stupid ass tanky or Nazbol or class reductionist who says, well, actually, uh, it was kind of okay for blah, blah, blah. No, it fucking wasn't. And you know it wasn't. You fucking know it wasn't. So fuck that shit. Get your head out of your ass, look to the future, and come up with a better motherfucking system than this stupid, idiotic, LARPy, uh, oh, I just want everybody to sign up for my issues because I'm too selfish to actually think about oh, whether or not uh, this movement is actually helping people who aren't me. Wah. And with that, talking about a fucking whiny bitch baby, we gotta talk about fucking Mike from PA. Because, listen... I don't know Mike from PA, right? I don't know who he is as a person. But what I can say is that Mike from PA's advocacy online is stupid as motherfucking shit. A absolute dumb shit. And I'm going to show you why and exactly how. So let's listen. If you don't believe me, if you don't believe me that Mike from PA is a stupid class reductionist dumb shit who has no right calling himself a lefty unless he fixes this fucking position, let me show you. Let me just, let me just show you real quick. Okay? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Stalin was, uh, pa was, was Pago. Is that Pago? Pause champ? I can't remember which one that one is. Anyway, let's do it. Let me just get the, let me just get this, uh, let me just get this video up for us. Okay? Ready? We got, we got a video to watch. We got a motherfucking video to watch. In Philadelphia. So this is, this is footage. In Philadelphia. So this, this is, is footage. The... Oops. This is footage from last night. Um, on Amy C3, Amy C3's stream. Amy C3 is really cool, as far as I know. Um, everything that I've seen about Amy C3 has been really enjoyable. I like Amy a lot. And I will say that Amy f seemed like, like, uh, she was a little uncomfortable in this conversation. And she was doing her best to, uh, save Mike from cringing himself out completely. Well, was it from last night? I don't know. Maybe it wasn't from last night. Let's see. Can I see the dates? Where's the date? Is there a date? I don't see the date. Listen, it was from recently, okay? Amy's really based. In my in my, all of my experience, Amy's really based. Okay? And Mike decided to plow through on, on her platform and talk about some dumb ass shit. So let's listen to it. Let's hear the dumb ass shit fresh and then we'll talk about it. Let's go. Let's talk about Philadelphia. it. Philadelphia. So this is the, I think, epicenter of where we could start to see civil we go unrest take screen? shape in this country, right? It could literally start in the streets of Philadelphia. I'm more scared of no civil unrest, about passive acceptance, passive acceptance of our of fascism. You don't think that people are going to, I mean, depending on what is released with the body cam footage, 
um, that people are not going to take it to the streets in Philadelphia? I mean, I, I, like, I, I just don't Whatever. think that the American protesters even have the edge necessary. Like, they're, they, they're, like, the 60s, it was way more, way more openly revolutionary. We are weak. And they'll go up there and say, hands up, don't shoot, and then get bullied by the cops and go home. Like, that's where our protest movement is right now. So, like, I mean, uh, what, did, what did the mill? I mean, I know that there, there was the the level of combativeness uh, perpetrated by the cops were to the same degree in the 1950s and 60s. But uh, the difference now, I'd say, is that yes, the Mike from PA is so a male sounding voice. Like, they're toys. Mike they've had uses such a, he, him pronouns. They've, they've had it, such an upgrade in their toys that I think we'll that talk they about have it, a little bit more power now than they did in the 1950s in controlling the masses, right? And I think that has uh, that plays a huge role as to why we cannot assemble in the way that we could otherwise. I think it's scary whatever you're so going many, up against pepper so balls. Many, there's and... so many hyper-woke people that are like, oh, bl the white anarchists, <laughs> and let this be a black-led movement. And I'm sorry, folks, but like, when you're fighting fascism, you don't have the time to walk around and do a wokeness check on everybody that's on the street with you. True. You shut the fuck up, you join arms, and you fight. The fact that people are going around with skull measuring calipers saying that this person is not woke enough for their protest mm -hmm. is fucking pathetic. They are, our movement is so far from reality. It's unbelievable. Hell yeah, Kez. And I, you know, I've bit my tongue on some of this stuff because I don't think it's necessarily helpful. But right now, You're right. watching what's going on and seeing Jane McAlevey correct correctly explain what is going on here. And the fact is, she'll get a thousand likes on this tweet. That's it. You know? Yeah. Like, the, like people don't know what the fuck they're doing! And, uh, you know, I just saw a post on Facebook of someone saying they're moving to England if Biden wins. LOL, bye fam. No one's moving to fucking... No one's moving out of this shithole country. Biden is going to be so fucking cucked. <laughs> if he even gets in. Race policing the movement tends to lead to freak white ring criticism that is just white liberals at BLM protests. Yep. Just wait. Just you wait. Right into their narrative. And I, honestly, I, I don't want to be a part of a movement that doesn't want me there anyway. Like, you know what I mean? Like, okay, then I, I won't mean, be yeah. there. If there is hostility there and you don't feel like you belong, then you are going to be, you're going to feel that discomfort. And that's. And the delusion, the delusion that, you know, we can quote, liberate well, ourselves. Out. I don't even know what the fuck that means, to be honest with you. <laughs> like, what a population of of sixteen percent of this country is going to like what take over? Like what 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 is the strategy here? We the only strategy and the only thing that works is a class based strategy. We know what right? we know what people that like puts Mike class use, use first. Hmm. There I said it, I fucking said it. Class. You could almost say we could reduce the movement down to class, right? Because that's the only thing that unites people. Now, obviously, we don't want to uphold white supremacy or other bullshit obviously yeah. destroying white supremacy is necessary to de to destroy capitalism yeah he just said it. protest capitalism yeah but yeah, he just said it like come on man keep your eye on the f fucking ball i've been saying this from the i mean i mean not to like go off the, the narrative entirely but i've been saying this from the jump like and we've seen some whispers that so i've let this run for three minutes without pausing it but let me just say fuck you mike mike from pa you are a coward. And I would love it, in fact. I would love to have a debate with you on this. Because I know that you're just the kind of stupid, privileged moron who sits on Twitch in his fancy little chair and tells black people and trans people and people of color to stuff it so you can have your class reductionist movement that pushes your interests forward and then you'll conveniently forget about us. I don't fucking hear you out here advocating hard for any of my rights. And I know that when push comes to shove, just like you said in this very tweet, in your own fucking words, we don't have time to think about these things when you're going up against fascism. Well, guess what? Yes, we motherfucking do. And if you don't, you're going to get to enjoy fascism. Because if you don't manage to unite all of the people in this country who are most motherfucking affected by this shit, you will be fighting a war alone. If you even fight it at all. And let's be real. What's much more likely is that push comes to shove and fascism comes this way because people like you motherfucking ignored people like me, downplayed our issues, and then 
When it loses, you quietly forget all your leftist positions, all of your milk toast anti-liberal positions, and you just blend right in with the fascists so you can ride out the other side while we die. Just like what happened in motherfucking Nazi Germany. So with all due respect, which is basically none, fuck yourself, Mike. Fuck yourself. And if you want to come on my show and talk about it sometime, great. If you want me to come on your show and talk about it so that you can, you know, selectively mute the mic like you usually do when you fucking argue with other people and then delete the VOD like the coward you are, go for it. I would love to have that conversation. Let's fucking do it. Because your style of movement is in direct opposition to what I view for the future. In fact, your style of movement is against what you purport to believe in. You are an idiot and a hypocrite. Kay Swiftly said she had a combo with Mike off stream and said that, and he said that he would let it die off. Then he did this shit, wanted to let you know. Yeah, that's because, you know what Mike likes to do? Mike likes to go on other people's channels. He likes to delete VODs. He likes to hide the shit that he says. This is not the first time. He's been blown out by like 20 different people. Mike is a, a fucking idiot who's failed upwards and using tanky imagery like being part of the central committee and having his silly um, emotes, uh, you know, he's managed to push his way upward. It's really funny because he likes to call everybody a grifter, but this guy calls his channel the central committee. He LARPs as if he's part of some popular movement. You know what he is? He's a fucking Twitch streamer. He's a fucking cushy ass baby bitch. And guess what? I'm a fucking cushy ass baby bitch. I sit on my shitty fucking chair and I t stream onto YouTube. But I'm not a fucking hypocrite about it. I don't fucking lie. I don't make myself out to be the tanky that's saving the left. Like I'm fucking running some popular movement. I know the desperate straits that we're in. And I recognize that we need to work together. Unlike fucking you whining about some, whining about some imaginary woke, wokeness check like you're fucking Sargon of Akkad. You sound like fucking Sargon. You fucking class reductions, Peter Coffin, Angie Speaks, fucking Mike from PA, you all sound like fucking Sargon. You use the same motherfucking arguments. I go through your tweets and they read like anti-SJW tweets from 2016. No joke. You're like, oh, skull measuring. Uh. You're a bunch of fucking weak snowflakes. Also, thank you, Max Sips. I will check that out as soon as I fucking can. I, I saved it on a separate uh, sheet. Thank you so much, Max. K swiftly cut ties with Mike from PA because he tried to mansplain by by POC women's issues and health. Well, that doesn't surprise me. You're not a weak snowflake. Let's measure his skull. Uh, I mean, I don't think we need to. He makes his stupidity uh, more obvious than any than any fucking dented skull could ever could ever fucking show. They are counter revolutionary. To quote a wise man, what Vosh? Are you quoting Vosh? grand theorist Vosh. No, but quite honestly, this is like, like, this is about as shooting yourself in the foot as I can possibly imagine. Imagine. Has Vosh debated Mike? No, because Mike's a coward. It's praxis. Yeah, you know what we call that? When you frame your shit as, as fucking praxis? The sex hey, thank cult you for began the, uh, to quarrel the and became of ex cult. Deeply then they that. invited some witches who made a hex cult. They they went to the gym the to improve their back cult. Dot something something flex cult. Sorry for the sex cult jokes. I came from Xander House. Is audience. a beta. And you know what's funny? Because he does this whole like this this whole like oh I'm a big strong toxic man. Uh, he does the ironic toxic masculinity. Well, I'd love to see him get fucking creamed by anybody because his arguments suck ass. And I've heard him before because guess what? Mike from PA. Mike thinks he's a hot shot, Mister. I know Sam Cedar. You know you know Mike from PA. Mike thinks he's a hot shot because he's been calling into the majority report forever. But anytime he opens his mouth on anything of serious note that he can't just like fucking repeat what somebody else says, he just sounds like a fucking idiot. Did Amy have any cr cringe takes? No. Let's listen. Amy was just kind of you know giving pushback in an awkward situation where someone came on their stream and advocated, literally advocated openly for, for fucking class reductionism on her channel. I, 
I yeah, I would too. How what how awkward that you bring somebody on that you think is a lefty and they turn out to be a fucking reactionary. Cool, huh? Yeah, I said it. That's right. I think that if you don't recognize the importance of an intersectional analysis, you are just a reactionary. You just think you're a leftist. You're LARPing as a leftist, but you ultimately support a movement that represses the rights of the most currently oppressed and currently repressed people in the world. Wait, is Amy here? Wait, is Amy, Amy, if you're here, I'll give you a, I don't know if you're here, but if you're here, somebody said, uh, I hope you're okay, Amy. Amy, if, if Amy's in chat, I'll give you a fancy name. Just let me know you're here. Um, but yeah, this fucking pisses me off. And this is something that I'm willing to debate with people. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. Brunch is fucking canceled, but you know, what's really funny. Mike, Mike is, Mike is a, a brunch liberal who dresses up like a fucking, like a fucking, um, like a fucking tanky. His YouTube channel, the central committee. Imagine, imagine how fucking arrogant you'd have to be. So stupid. What's a reactionary? A reactionary is a right winger. It's somebody who, uh, the, the term, the political term reactionary comes from the idea that, uh, that your politics are reacting to progress and that you wish to return from new progress that scares you to an earlier thing. Yeah, sorry. I'm I, sorry, everyone. I need to rename this channel. This channel is now called, uh, Demon Mama's, um, War for the People Fund. If you, every dono you give to me direct will save you from the capitalist order. I will save you for sure. Definitely not just lining my own pockets. Let's be real. I'm a political edutainer. I say this every single fucking stream. Do I think that my work can do good things? Of course I do. Do I, would I love it if you supported me? Of course I do. But I'm not fucking LARPing as some like, uh, the central committee bullshit. What a coward. What a fucking embarrassment. Let's keep listening. Let's see how much worse it gets. Let's just, let's just find out. And don't forget, don't forget to invest in Demon Mama's, uh, fund for the people so that I can, because I know you're, oh, I know you're suffering right now. Why don't you give me money? Imagine if I did that shit. Imagine if I fucking did that shit. Holy shit, it makes me so mad. Let's watch. You have some, what, you know, the Demon remaining, Mama coin? uh, yeah. union members and, and leaders in this country are maybe working behind the scenes to try to, on a whim, or maybe they have been doing this for a while now behind the scenes, organize a general strike, right? And I think that is the key to uh, a, a class-based movement that encapsulates everyone. Amy, I, I, I love you here. I love your content. I don't know you as a person, no parasocial right now. I love your content, but Mike just came on your show and literally advocated for a class exclusive movement. That's one that doesn't include everyone. A brunch lib. Yeah, it's about the same thing. About the same thing, Angel. Anyway, let's go. Affected in this country, right? Now Class clearly doesn't unite people. We've never, it used to, and it's not even being tried. Mm -hmm. Joe Biden's going up there going, you know, the billionaires are not bad. That's Joe Biden, you fucking idiot. You're a leftist. Do you know anything about fucking the history of the left? Do you know that how deeply the unions were undermined by the fact that they didn't include black workers in their advocacy? Capitalist mama. Yeah. Because well, I'm not a capitalist. Yes, obviously I want to make money from my fucking show, but I'm not going to fucking fool you people. I'm not going to fucking fleece my audience like Mike from PA does. Like who's, who's uniting now, now Bernie Sanders? Uh, uh, tried a bit. But nah, that would like, be great, Posadas John. What was he being attacked on? What was he spending his time on? Defending off these false, pathetic, woke attacks by the bourgeois fucking uh, professional managerial class, calling them sexist. Hey, there we go. People, you know who loves the term PMC? That term is abs. That the term PMC is just beloved by fucking class reductionists. They fucking love that term. They love to call everyone PMC. Everyone they don't like is a PMC, professional managerial class. Yeah, it means professional managerial class. 
Yeah, I memed on this before. Wait, Dylan's here? Hey, Dylan. Where's Dylan? I didn't see Dylan in here. I guess Dylan's lurking. No, it, it, nope, it's not. PMC is, is, um, professional managerial class. It, people called the PMCs was the, the Warren Kratz. The, the Warren Kratz, you know, like the blood and teeth people. They're, they're, uh, they could most be understood as middle managers who make enough money that they, um, that they don't, um, that they don't really, that they are like sort of fooled out of recognizing class consciousness. But it's really funny because they will call anybody PMC. Yeah, yeah, t table knife. Hat. No, it's not private military contractors. That would be, that would be a better critique. Mike would be doing a better critique here. Jesus is a centrist? Maybe. Actually, I do agree. Jesus was a socialist. Christian socialism? Based. Or as based as it could be. Does he not realize he's being a woke scold by accident in his own argument? No, he doesn't realize that. A PMC? Sheeptar. PMC is, is professional managerial class. It's like middle managers and, and tech people. It's, it's very vague, but that's basically what it means. It means like um, consultants. Sometimes they call it the consultant class. Stuff like that. Let's go. Let's continue. Made up fucking stories mm -hmm. because some junior staffer somewhere was a creep. And that, and the other thing he was sexist was because Elizabeth Warren said in a private one-on-one -on -one conversation that he thought a woman would have a tough time beating Trump. Oh yeah, he's still whining about Bernie. This is him whining about Bernie Sanders, by the way. Talk about, you want to know, you want to know what's really funny? Want to know? Just a, just a small observation here. You want to know who it was who fucking lost their shit when Bernie lost and gave up and took a fucking black pill? It's people like fucking Mike from PA. Bernie or Buster types. They're these, they're these fucking, they are the people that they talk about hating. They're the PMC people. They're like, oh, they have like comfortable streaming careers and whatever. And when Bernie lost, they were like, oh. And then so they took the black pill while the rest of us kept fucking pushing for a better world. PMC is full of assholes. Let's see. Wait, the, you you mean the the actual PMC or wait, what are you talking about here? Here, I'll, I'll take a look at this in a second. I'll take a look here. I'll save this on the link thing. Let me go check it. I'll check it in a minute. All right, let's continue the video. That's what we spent our time talking about on the left. These are literal conversations I had to have. Right. No, no, you didn't. You fucking idiot. Uh, yeah, this is because the the factions Bro, with the Democratic organize... Party or the Democratic, you know, who's adjacent to the Democratic Party are far and wide compared to I agree, the Republican Party. They simply they don't have to have they don't have to worry about those factions. They oh, tend to yes. deliberate and reach a consensus uh, much easier than the Democratic Party. No, they don't. There's a lot more of an umbrella, right? The Democratic no, they Party is don't. a much larger umbrella. Okay, listen again. No, I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at Amy here, but this is not true. The idea that the right doesn't have infighting is just simply not true. They infight all the time. They infight all the time. I know. I grew up in a fucking extremist religious sect. I grew up in the de in the depths of the right wing. You don't see it because they fucking ruin each other. Their fights are never civil. See, on the left, there's all this idea of leftist infighting because on the left, we we discourse. We disagree. Oh, oops, sorry. I'll I'll put the clip back up in a second. They're infighting right now. They're having a massive infighting, and guess what? Do you know what happens when the when the right infights? People lose their jobs. People lose their livelihoods. People lose their fucking um. They they lose their fucking lives sometimes. Remember what happened to Milo Yiannopoulos? Milo Yiannopoulos is a washout because the right decided they were done with him. They say the left is a hive mind while also saying there's lots of infighting. Yeah, well, the reason why there's infighting on the left is because there's different thinkers. There's a diversity of opinions on the left, and we intercritique. That's one of our strengths. People complain about it because it can get tiring, and also because drama fucks like like people like uh, you know Peter Coffin and all and in Mike from PA are constantly involved in personal drama because they're stupid assholes who piss people off, and then they whine when people talk back to them when they expect to just have their opinions taken without any uh, critique. 
That's what they do. You never notice that people who complain about drama on the left all the time are always engaged in a shitload of drama themselves, themselves, that they start themselves. Yeah, it's almost like live by the sword, die by the sword. But guess what? Some of us recognize that it's not fucking drama, that there are real ideological differences and that can be our strength if we stop denouncing that and looking to become the right. You don't want to become the right. The right destroys one another. When they have a disagreement, the left, they yell at each other. They shout things back and forth on Twitter. Sometimes they stop following each other. Oh, boo-hoo. That's because there's actual intellectual diversity on the left. That's why. There's not on the right. On the right, there are death struggles. And one wins, and they become the dominant one, and they become the top of the hierarchy. Why do you think everyone is falling in line behind Trump, an absolute embarrassing idiot who doesn't live up to any of the things that the right purports to believe in? It's because he was the strongest at the time. That's how it works. The right is built on hierarchy and domination. This is not a hard thing to understand. So there we go. Just needed to say my piece on that. We'll see. Well, that's the thing, nuts. We'll see. We don't know if this breaking of ranks is going to be successful. Because what Donald Trump is doing is he's firing and erasing people who break ranks. Now, maybe he doesn't have the power. If he has the power to do it, anyone who doesn't go fucking full-on QAnon bullshit, Donald Trump worshipping, will be erased. They'll be purged. Now, if it happens the other way, watch. If the Mitt Romney side of the Republican Party takes control again, there won't be a, a Donald Trump-style Republican Party anymore. They will fall in line. Whoever wins will fall in line. Have I covered Tucker yet? I have in the past. Um, we're going to be covering some stuff after this. The biggest orc is the boss. Yep. Let's watch this. That includes a multitude of different people, right? So reaching a consensus is if almost standard. If you can liberate yourself, do it already. What? If you don't need me, fucking do it. But yet I don't see it happening. Uh, union leaders are uh, doing... I'm just going to play that one back for you real quick. I'm just going to play that one back for you. Let's listen to that one again. A multitude of different people, right? So reaching a consensus is if almost standard. If you can liberate yourself, possible. do it already. What? If you don't need me, fucking do it. But yet I don't see it happening. Uh, union leaders are uh, doing He's shit. He's responding. Yes, Someone He's said responding to someone in chat with that. Who's saying, oh, if you can liberate yourself, just do it. Just liberate yourself. Not just that. It's not. He's not even just saying, just liberate yourself. He's saying, you think you're going to be able to liberate yourself without me, a white guy? Talk about a white savior complex. This is the definition of a fucking white savior complex. Like the biggest fucking white savior complex I've ever heard on Twitch. Easily. As, yeah, as he cuts off a woman. Not a surprise, right? You all know, all of my regular viewers know how fucking frequently shit like this happens. I'll be the one woman on a panel and I will get told that I'm speaking too much. A little weird, isn't it? Almost like certain areas of the left alienate potential allies because they're too stupid to realize their own bias. Stupid idiots like Mike from PA. Uh, members voted for Trump. Why wouldn't they? I mean, the Democratic Party is an embarrassing sham. It endorsed Joe Biden. Would you trust a union leader that told you to vote for Joe Biden? You must be a fucking fool. I don't know. I trust Sarah Nelson. I mean, like they obviously we had to vote for Biden. I'm, not, I'm saying in the in the in the primary, right? Fair, oh, silent. Yeah. Like, 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 li listen to who these people are pushing. Like, come on, man. That's not class politics. And he's talking about we got to work together and heal the soul of the nation on all this babble. Well, you know, those are just empty platitudes. That's the foundation of the you can hear how uncomfortable uh, she is. strategy, right? I would trust him over a union leader that told me to vote for Trump. The point is that any union that at the end of its political education and activism and organizing, the answer they come up with Joe fucking anti-union biden is the answer is worth not worth the fucking paper they're they're printed on it's it's useless it's a fucking True. worthless organization run me this mike who do you think is best slated to begin this uh, movement to uh a, a class based organized efforts to take things know. to the street like who would it be i i i i, I don't know
I, Stop I, I really don't know. And that's the problem. Who the fuck is going to take on this Robinette. role? Right. Who I is going swearing, to wear though. the hat? Also, union shouldn't need to vote to exercise power. What? I mean, all the... And, and you know, the thing that's frustrating is because I sound so doomer and naysay, but like all the fucking alternative Stop groups are so swearing. flaccid. Mm -hmm. There's it's no substance sad. whatsoever. There's no enthusiasm. There's no, you know, there's honestly, there's no backbone or, or foundation to uh, these alternative groups. Who will? And that no is heck also uh, problematic. Shut up. <laughs> That's I have 12 year olds in my chat. If you, don't, if you don't need me, you'd be liberated. I don't know what that means. <clears throat> I mean, uh, you call it white. And, and this is what I'm saying. I don't want you here. Leave. Leave for good. I'm not going to waste my time with this babble anymore. It's, it's a waste of my fucking time. <laughs> if you're not here to fight capitalism, get the fuck out. Like, I, I, I just can't waste my time with it anymore. Um, I'm, I've sat here patiently and listened to people babble on about garbage, uh, you know, attacking hey, people that Are were killed. Are you surprised, killed. Mike? I mean, I, like, we have to thing, side like, with the Democratic Party. So this emboldens uh, these moderate liberals uh, who are like, oh, you no, know these what? Rad libs are, these rad libs who think they're radicals are fucking embarrassing. The irony of this coming from Mike from PA, a professional streamer calling anyone a rad lib. Mike from PA, the guy whose entire career was started because he was a regular caller on the majority report. All Mike has is buzzwords and LARPing. Mike is the real rad lib. Embarrassing. Yeah. It's just a waste of time. And one of the things that really disgusted me was the. I, I, I keep coming back to this because it pissed me off so much, which is, you know, that guy who died uh, in Portland, you know, he he killed a por a proud boy that was like hitting people with batons and it's spraying. Good marshals? Yeah. And then yeah. they fucking, they, they sent Michael a Rynell. hit squad to him and they did an ambush and shot him to death yeah. without even announcing they were police. Mm -hmm. And I had people coming to my stream calling it an op, that he was an op. Like he yeah. was some sort of secret, uh, confidential informant and it was all set up to make the left look bad and he was an adventurist and let me tell you about adventurism and blah 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 and i was like are you f and like in the critical moment where we could have organized some sort of like messaging around this guy and the extrajudicial killing of him they were in here pretending like because he was white therefore we should be suspicious and he wasn't a part of the membership See you soon, table and life. oh they went through his social media posts and said he wasn't posting about this uh, stuff right now, before Theo, x date you. therefore he's a fucking and they did a fucking personal opposition research campaign against this guy who died right. and i was like that's when i knew we weren't gonna win that's when i knew because holy shit is that pathetic if there is this barrier of entry where you have to prove that you are worthy to fight or you're that that you are proving to be committed to the cause, it is going to be it's going there's not literal going to be a, murder a by fascists. Yeah, yeah. And like and I true I, like we need hey, people that are ready to, to fight and roll with us and like stop with the fucking navel gazing and the constant like I don't know what. You know? I don't, I don't know. I don't uh, know, Nuts. It's just I mean, it's, a waste of It's just, time. you know, the purity testing that we tend to see um, within the left. And I, I do think that that stands as one of the greater greatest barriers. Oh, the greatest barriers right now. I mean, it's, I mean um, they're not even purity, but purity for what? I talk to these people. There's like nothing. There's no purity. I mean, it's fine to do your homework, but that was a fucking giant stretch and stupid. Of course it was. You haven't read theory for 18 years. You can't possibly support the left as much as we kind of shit. I don't know about y'all. I don't think, I think it's possible to criticize excessive uh, purity testing without saying, oh yeah, I want a class reduced movement. Oh no, Donald Trump, this will be a video on YouTube. You better bet this is going to be a video on YouTube. You know this is going to be a fucking video on YouTube. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Yeah, sure. Like, I, I get being stressed, but I don't get the benefit of this conversation. The benefit of this conversation is, like, I am... The reason why I went off this path is because we just don't have... Like, Joe Biden's speech disgusted me. It was the most pathetic speech I've ever seen.
to come out here. He basically did a campaign speech. Hey, and the same fucking ca- He didn't learn anything from the fact he almost lost. We're we're yelling I about Mike I from PA right now. I don't see why because you Mike would be from so PA is an embarrassment. Why would they do last minute tweaking to their ultimate message? I mean, they could have stood up a little. Agreed. A little, Agreed, Gina. Uh, more and and announced their intention to fight uh, the Trump administration to to ensure that they don't allow the Trump administration to steal the election. But again, you're you're then getting into really divisive, almost conspiratorial. No, you see what see what Mike is doing here is Mike is using a critique of Biden to pad out his own fifis. He's using a valid critique of of Joe Biden. Joe Biden, who is not the left, who represents only the interests of establishment libs, and he's just padding out his own feelings about, oh, why can't the movement be more white? Sorry, right? We're, God you don't bless wanna... the troops, is what he said. Yeah. And those same Jiden? troops in a week might be Stinky Joe. rolling over us. Tr- yeah. God. Zanzi, let me catch you up. Zanzi, Mike from PA went on Amy c 3s stream and straight up said that he believes in a class reductionist movement. He said we should reduce the movement to class. That's it. And I'm calling him out for being a stupid dumb shit because he is a stupid dumb shit. And if he wants to come on here and argue about it, bring it the fuck on. I'd love to. I'd love to blow him the fuck out. It would be easy. Anyway, let's get back. We got a lot more to go through, so. Bless the troops. That's, yeah. Um, when when do you think the Democrats are going to learn that they have to reposture themselves in order to- Never. 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 Not after, the, after this, okay. this pathetic shit. There was no soul, there's no soul searching at all. There's nobody going, maybe Bernie Sanders was right. Yeah. No, I haven't seen anybody say every leader of the Democratic caucus needs to step down and we need to have a progressive bold vision. Because he's probably drunk Not a one. I'm not seeing it. Do you guys see it? Usual? Do you Maybe think I'm that missing the Democrats it. are going to give up their power? Like, do you think they're just going to surrender their power to the yeah, more progressive the wing of the after. Democratic Party? Absolutely not. Like, that's a whole thing that within the factions uh, we are seeing within the, the, the Democratic Party, it's very unlikely. Uh, very, It's very unlikely. I don't think that the, the Democrats would rather hold on to their old... Yeah, but how many people was that, Posadas John? We talked about Michael Reinowell so many times on my channel. Maybe he just cultivates a bad following. Maybe it's just his own fucking chat. We've had like 20 conversations about Michael Reinowell, and it's been fine. Also, Zanzi, why the fuck don't you have a fancy name? Zanzi, did you make two accounts on my site? Let me double check. I need to get you a fancy name, Zanzi. Let me get you a fancy name. Zanzi. Zanzi. Oh, you only have one. You made this a while ago. I just got it. I just forgot to give you a fancy name. There's your fancy name. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. You have fancy name now, Zanzi. Type again. Type again, Zanzi. They see me zooming. They booming. They maldin trying to catch me zooming dirty. True. Zanzi is a ba- oh well, Zanzi sounds like a bad- a badass name, because Zanzi is a badass. There you have it. Uh, Zanzi's a badass. Boom! Zanzi's fucking based, guess what? I'm gonna be going on Zanzi's show next week. So, there's some hype, a little bit of a sneaky peeky of next week's content. I'm gonna be going on for a really great conversation with Zanzi. It's, uh, Zanzi runs a show called Left Thinking, where he interviews and does long-form, cozy conversations with lefties about leftism. And we're gonna be going on Zanzi's show. I'm a bad rapper. I can't do that shit. I I'm bad at it. By the way, hello. I did not change my hair, Tragic Hero. I'm saying hello to YouTube chat real quick. This is the left I want. Nuanced, reasonable, and compassionate. Me too. Oh yeah, Zanzi, put your link tree, um, put your link tree in chat for people. Please, please. 
All right, let's get back to this. We got to finish this clip so we can go into the Corporate next one. Corporate-backed power than to allow for any structural or significant Come change on, Mike, this in is order China to be the winner. Tr Look at that. He just cuts her off again. Over us. Give me a break. What? They're they're more so comfortable. Are you deluded? I, I mean, are you deluded? Look at. Did you not see this fashion in Philadelphia? Do you think that so right there? Do you think this? Wait, wait, let's look. Watch, 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 watch her face. Mike, this is watch her face at the end. Trump's rolling. Troops are rolling over us. Give me a break. What? They're they're more so comfortable. Are you deluded? I, I mean, are you? Do you think this right here? You've seen me make this face before. You have seen me make this face before. Remember, he's on her show right now. He's on her show yelling at her chat. Well, yeah, but listen, not all, but Amy is a, like, this is not saying anything bad. Amy doesn't do my show. You know, on my show, I have people on, I scream at them. I call them whimpering little bitches. I call them names because I'm a mean, I'm a mean bitch. Amy is very polite and good to people. And I think that's a good thing. But that's okay. If you expect to have a friend on for a good conversation, you expect people to treat you well. I'm not shaming. I'm not going to fucking say anything against Amy here. This is on Mike. Mike is coming into her house and fucking shitting all over the floor. We got another clip to watch, though. We have another clip to watch. Because, and this one I haven't seen. So this is going to be a live reaction. There's going to be some pausing. There's going to be all the stuff. We're reacting. We're reacting. It's going to be great. But before we get into the reaction, I have something I want to check. We're going to take a small break so I can look at something that was sent to me by none other than our friend Max Sips. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. What's Max Sips got for us? Yo! What the fuck? Yo! Holy shit! Max, what the fuck? Fuck! Holy shit! Yeah, I'm actually fucking speechless. This is the coolest shit I've ever seen. And I feel really flattered right now, and I've got goosebumps. Yo! Hey, nice name, Sea of Cheese. Nice name color. Look at that. You're the first purple star ever in here. True. Let me drink some water. Max, thank you so fucking much. This is the poggish shit I've ever seen. I'm dead serious. I've never, like, what the fuck? Wait, Max, you definitely deserve, wait, hold on, listen. I can't, I can't do all that much for you, but you deserve one thing. And that is, for sure, you get a fancy name. You are a by by far a content creator, Max. You are this is content and you are a content creator, which means you get a fancy fucking name. That's the least I could do. Look at that fancy name. Aces, you get one too. I forgot. I got to give you one. Listen. I know that uh I know that um I, I, I do this a lot, but I've still, we're just getting to the site. So I got to give fancy names. Look at that. You both have made me content. The least I can do is give you a fancy name. So people know that you make cool shit. Amazing. Amazing. Hi, YouTube chat. Just checking in real quick. Then we got to jump in. We got to jump into the content because we got more to do. We got a lot more to do. Holy shit. We got a lot to cover today. I'm bringing you all a lot of content today. Oh, don't you worry, Max. You've made me amazing art, so thank you. Don't do what I just did? What did you just do? Oh, yeah, oh, the, 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 the emotes? Yeah, if you do emotes, spam, the bot might mute. We're gonna fix the bot over time, don't worry. That would be awesome, Jessica Metal. Don Jr.'s got COVID, heard about that. When did the mic shit happen? I'm not 100% sure. I don't think it really matters. Apparently, it was, a couple, it was within the last couple of days. 
You got muted for ooing. It's okay. It happens. We'll unmute you. The bot will be tuned over time. Hey, that makes me happy, Encrade. I'm trying to bring as much fucking fun and good times as I can for y'all. I mean, I have no clue, obviously. I mean, personally, seeing people on Twitter do it, but Twitter's like 2% of the population. So also, taking sorry for taking so long to reply. You don't got to apologize for that. I understand. Who relevant is is Mike Mike from PA? Mike from PA gets like 350 viewers on Twitch. He's like a Twitch partner and everything. Happy first birthday, Demon Bot. Yeah, of course. Ico's stream was last night. Well, that's what we're about to watch. So let's watch Ico's stream. Let's watch. Let's let's watch what what happened on Ico's stream. New site, new bot. Hey, good job, Martini Peterson. Keep up the hard work. Let's get, let's get, let's get into this content. Oh, does he get like 600 plus? Do I have any pics of Yoda on my Twitter? Not yet, but I will. Um, there's, there's pics of Yoda elsewhere. I, I'll give you one in a bit. Let me get back to the content. Stream on stream content. Let's do this. Wait, it's muted. Trying to, uh, I don't, I don't even know. I think that it's really fucking just like a, like a. No, you're good like a actually fawn i don't fawn fawn can you post uh can you t uh ping max sips in the um in the brimstone in the gallery of brimstone with some pictures of yoda you have all the good pics of yoda muted are they on a green screen yeah yeah Ico does really really wild stuff it's around 351 we get into the meat of it okay i'll jump a little bit forward then Here, let's let's zoom back a little bit. Aww, that's so cute. Cult of Dusty followed me recently. I like Ico's setup. Ico does like really trippy setup. Yeah, I like Ico. I had a really good conversation with Ico a while ago. I probably should post it, but I forgot to. I'll I'll post it up on YouTube at some point. We had a really good conversation about sexism in lefty spaces. All right, let's let's watch this. Need to be alienated from your privilege if you want to get anything. Done Mitner, Mitner is too soft. Right. It's and like losing really, your privilege yeah. will hurt. It will be alienating, and you need to be alienated for it to happen. We will alienate you from your privilege, and it's gonna hurt. And you gotta learn not to take it personally. Because if you can. Yeah, just so you all know, Ico's really great. Ico streams on Twitch. I've been on a bunch of panels with Ico. I've done a bunch of cool stuff with Ico. Um. Yeah, it's okay. I, I, uh, yeah, I know, but that's I can't do anything about that. That's their audio balancing. Yeah, Mitnerd is really quiet. Her streams are okay. So, um, Iko does like really psychedelic streams. Like Iko does really variety content, um, all kinds of stuff like that with a little bit of politics mixed in. So Iko's cool as fuck. Anyway, let's get to this. If we can't, if I can't, who the fuck? Like, what are you gonna do? Like people who? Oh, Iko's a huge stoner. Like, yeah just happened with mike yep that's like it. if you that's right nuts. get triggered to the point where you don't care about like rights anymore you don't care about racial justice you don't care about like or if you're willing like, to say you care about it less in the way that they did uh, yeah like uh yeah i posted uh the link in the chat to this 13 minute screen recording that I took of it because I didn't want there to be like not any context. It's really cool background, um, yeah. That was all of the I, room that I had on my phone. I just realized that my pad stopped communicating with my. Oh, did it? Like a long time ago. So, whatever really? I've been drawing for the last like. Oh, no. Minutes. Reconnect. Welcome back, Kaz. Happy Can to you have reconnect you. Reconnect it. I might have to restart my computer. So. Um, like, what do you? Yeah, use Mitnerd to plays connect? music like, live on stream. It's really cool. Can you disconnect and reconnect? I don't. No. Oh, sleepy baby. I mean, maybe it's air. Maybe is it's, it a program? Maybe it's just Streamlabs. Can you I like can, on? I try quitting Streamlabs first, and then I know it's not. Um, oh, hello, Central Underscore Committee. Yeehaw. Oh, look. Howdy, everyone. Look who shows up. Unironically from PA is here. Settlers. Hey, thank What'd you, Lottie. I'm Appreciate sorry. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. 
Um, Welcome wait, back to you... the color name okay, crew. Cool. I think we're about to hear a reason that the historiography problems of settlers somehow invalidate the materialist analysis of race. Wait, what? I don't even know what that means. All right. It's there are I've seen in leftist spaces there are historiographic problems with the text settlers like histo like historians who are of course he does he always does that it to death. little so coward here are the historiographic errors problems with this specific text yeah Mike and I Mike is notorious Mike is notorious for going into people's chats and and shooting fucking shit at them and then backing off and not actually showing up on the show and just being oh I'm busy I'm busy he does this all the time I've literally seen it multiple times he fucking cowards out all the time beta to try and invalidate the general analysis of race that's going on in settlers <laughs> i don't know what anyone is talking about i don't know what central committee is talking about i don't know what you're saying i don't i haven't read any of these books all that i know is that yeah, everything that you said mike was really fucked up like why would you say that? Oh, I'm not complaining. Oh, look, about he's bitching you. in chat. I... He's bitching. Listen, you folks, show put on your big boy's pants on and message someone before you complain about that person. We just yeah, because um, afterwards we'll talk about this for 13 minutes. I thought about messaging you about this before I said anything about it, but this is something that you correct this isn't something like oh there was a misunderstanding no you know exactly what you're talking about this is your fucking job dude what is your what is i can't believe you would say How that tough are you? live too like the what the what the fuck hey how gender good to see you how is this yeah or no, no or and it's like you don't have to be a better no person you don't have to care oh, Lodic. about any Lodic, uh if your name isn't updating just log right out and log back in it'll 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 refresh oh shit my name is an emote that's amazing anything or anyone but when you say that you care when you make your job about equality about fucking uh progression in society hi dove Keen. good to see you what the fuck dude you are accountable hey there you go if you think class liberation isn't the basis of humanity's liberation we aren't on the same team ultimately if you think that class liberation isn't the basis of humanity's liberations we aren't on the same team ultimately okay well how about this how about um uh black people get sold out really fast so if you don't put them at the yeah i should dadle dan uh, on, as a priority they will get negotiated and sold the fuck out. Okay, but what about those lefties that are like, you can't talk about that because you're not a part of that identity. Like that time I was criticizing Candace Owens and some lefties gave me shit for being a white person criticizing the opinions of a black person. Well, those people are just kind of wrong. And that's okay. People are wrong all the time. Who cares? People are wrong all the fucking time. You, mean, you, know, you know how frequently I talk to people who are wrong about stuff? However... There is some truth in the in in that statement to the degree that like it is very very annoying to uh be talked over all the time when you belong to a minority group and have experienced the pain of a minority group. This isn't the same. Of course there is bad examples of 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 id poll, but that's not that it's not what's going on here. What's going on here is Mike from PA is showing his ass and being a dumb shit like usual, and he's getting called out for it, and he doesn't like it. Yeah, yeah, we can talk about that more a bit later, too, if you want to. I think that would be a good follow-up. But I want to get through this stuff, because I want to see the bulk of this Mike from PA stuff, so I can wrap it up nice and good. True, Silent. Exactly. Out really fast. Do you want to come into the Discord and explain yourself? Because I'll allow you. That's how confident I am uh, I love in Ico. me, who doesn't know shit about any of this shit, but who just knows when something is fucking wrong. <laughs> I put black Marxist first. Are you kidding? Okay. Have you had a, a chat with Kay Swiftly since? Hmm? Maybe. 
Maybe yeah, you have long, some explaining to do. Although I don't think that there's we'll any see. explaining that you could possibly do. Um, when you say that, oh, if you Pizza. could liberate yourselves, why don't you? I don't see that happening. What, is 16% of the population gonna just take over? Like, oh, like, uh, these, like, you want these movements to be black-led measuring souls? What is your deal? I, I no, just... it's me. It's literally me. It's me because someone sent me a clip of it and i was like i gotta make sure this is in context it can't possibly be that bad and it is possible but then that i did bad. oh it was class time mike mike mike, mike. class time yeah. saw it because it was fucking live on stream <laughs> i'm silent. disappointed that the old more ball people kick. didn't mention it um, and this is the thing. You have an audience, right? You have Mike an audience. Mike has a audience. big audience. This is not about drama. This is not about yeah, Twitch we have it in the, in the Discord, too. This is too. about real fucking dead people on the street and you complaining about people saying that, like, white anarchists don't belong in them. Like, having this, uh, whatever fucking... Like, oh, we can listen to it again. How about this? I'll just put it on again, and you can listen to it if you want to. Um, Philadelphia. Listen so this to is yourself. Talk. Way more openly revolutionary. 1.2k average? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Then I have no problem saying this. Mike from PA, you are an absolutely irresponsible shit. You have a 1.2k audience? Fuck you. And you know what? We aren't in the same movement. So guess what, Mike? Guess what, baby? You're in... Whew, Rule number four of Twitter. Yeah. Y'all know what rule number four of Twitter is, right? Who knows rule number four of Twitter? Do y'all remember? Dunk on your abject enemies. And I can say, Mike from PA, a class reductionist, in my opinion, is a motherfucking enemy. So we get to have some, I get to have some motherfucking fun on Twitter tonight, baby. Oh boy, this is going to be good. Get your clipping hands ready. Mike needs to take a hike. Class liberation is the basis of humanity's liberation is, okay, so what happens when we successfully build a money, moneyless, classless This is going to be fun. Utopia? And the simple human We're punching way up this time. Pattern recognition and emotional response means we still have prejudice and resultant oppression. Right. You don't get to say it's fuck not, black it's liberals. It's not that these things do not intersect. <laughs> it's not that these things are not. It, it's the, not that they're not intersectional. It's, not, it's that they don't outrank each other. There's an interdependence in these things. These are human created problems. They have human created solutions. Maybe they will exist in perpetuity. I don't know. I'm a bit more utopian that, utopian than that. But the idea that it uh, is the Ico entire rules. basis of human liberation, it is both an insufficient approach to human liberation, but it is also not necessarily incorrect. Does that make sense, Mike? It's not incorrect to say that. Um, I don't know. It's 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 the uh, human liberation in terms of how it I think it was Ico's Discord. Is it not the case that we need to also address class while giving black people protections from being thrown under the bus? Of course. Of course. Addressing class is incredibly important. But you do not ever. There is no need. There is no need at all to downplay other intersectional issues while addressing class. In fact, doing so makes it harder to address class. Because if you say, yeah, class is all that matters, but you don't recognize that black people have been systemically locked, um, systemically not locked out of um, the upper class at all, yeah. Yeah, no problem, Kez. Wait, is Noopy here? Noopy? The working class is at intersectional. Trans people are working class. Black people are working class. This idiot, Mike from PA, who is questionably working class at this point. Oh, I would love that. I would fucking love it. Let's do it. Noopy? The Noopy? I love Noopy. I love Noopy. 
intersex with everything, but it is incorrect. What did Mike say? To Mike, literally, I'm not kidding you. Donald Trump, I'm not kidding you. Mike from PA said that he believes that we should shrink, we should reduce the movement down to class. He believes in by like a class first approach. Like he literally said class reductionism. Yeah, you can watch the full clip for yourself. He literally said the thing. He said the quiet part loud. There's no calls to violence. Nobody said any calls to violence. Yeah, don't do that. What the fuck? What about calls to... What? Who said anything about calls to violence? This is lefty infighting. We argue. We argue. No fucking... What the fuck? Nobody said... I never even saw anything. Anyway. Dismiss liberation as a distraction, which... Everything which I is heard, what you yeah. did, and I can understand the motivation for that because we get alienated when we hear that we are not welcome in a space, or we are the problem in a space, or our presence and existence in a space is a problem. It's deeply alienating. Well, too fucking bad. We're settlers who need to suck it up. Like that's honestly my answer. Too fucking bad. We are settlers who need to suck it up. And that oh, okay. We're white. We I didn't see anything, but that. all right. And Thank you, Cottage Core Lefty. I appreciate that. Going to if you ever see anything like that, please report it to the mods. To the please. Side liberation in a sense of priority because we are hurt that our class struggle is somehow not in proportion or feels yeah, that's possible because we have to listen to liberation spaces that we don't belong in leadership roles in. We're just being selfish. Class liberation isn't about us and how we respond to these kinds of things. And if we want to, if we want to reduce it to race is merely a construct built around. I'll check class, that meme. Guess what? We still need to fucking address Just, race. Uh, in ping me in the Discord class. so I can check it after. Just, sorry, I'm sorry. I shouldn't be. I don't even know, Mike. I shouldn't be. Terrible. No, I'm no, terrible. it's good terrible. because you know what? Don't let. This is the problem that I think empathetic people who had bad takes in the past will want to be charitable to people who don't uh haven't earned that charity that True, sounds like liberalism Michael. to True. me disarm and disempower revolutionary movements because we need to spend time about getting poc drone pilots oh wow <laughs> you you get in the going discord. after me Posadist. you want to get in the fucking discord because where where do i will fucking crush you like in minecraft verbally like come come the fuck on you know you fucking know that i don't give a shit about more lady ice agents like no you literally what sorry can, can i just say so his response was to make to apply arguments that we have not been making and not mentioned yeah, he could so be i don't think mike is worth engaging with unless he wants to actually talk to us about our points on liberation instead of putting up straw men that, that's just my thought it's like he's calling them liberals in chat by the way if he's, just he's calling them liberals. oh i don't care about i don't care about baiting i don't care if you ha you can come uh say whatever bullshit you want to say you can say that that uh i'm a fucking lib I'm not, I'm not a liberal. I love them. I don't have like uh, associations with things, but this is my thing. I believe that uh, as it, as a part of our social contract within this society, that if we are all considered equal, we are all uh, owed the means to yeah, yeah, that's continue fine, living, Zanzi. which is food but shelter surely you must recognize that that would probably that that dynamic would change zanzi that would change like okay that's a different conversation we'll talk about that another time we can talk about that another time healthcare uh what what else is there i don't know I, basic I, fucking just, needs am I beyond just, workers I, beyond whether you can work or not Hey, Mike, just real quick, since you're asking, are you liberals or are you open socialists? Here, grab your fucking calipers and measure my socialism. What is that? I don't, I don't that's know what that is. IWW my card. IWW card, since apparently that's how we want to measure things. You're complaining about measuring wokeness, and you want to know, okay, let's get your calipers and measure our socialism. Like, Jesus, come on. Okay, so now what? Now that at least Mitnerd's not a lib... You, you oops, 
Coward, no, no, coward I, Mike, yeah, Mike from, from Mike from fucking coward, the quivering Mike, quivering Mike is over here fucking refusing to get in the Discord. Let's see if he shows up. Like opera, I must be a lip. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, mm. you know, it's not like we want to deny a uh, fucking. Oh, it's it's not like we want to deny very uncomfortable Good. things like being called white uh in order to have um at mittner 36 on fucking fire and i love let's let's jump forward and i fundamentally we get let's see when's he come in and he um this move this computer's maybe gonna come in and try and like push things apart or they're getting to revolutionary oh. movements using here we go especially mm. bad faith critique uh, and that is a, that's a big <laughs> problem. That's a big problem. Yeah. My, that my, is... who, do, who do you think these people are? Can you just define them? Uh, I mean, I don't really want to call people out, but largely... No, go for it. Liberals. Don't be a coward. Go go for it. Coward! Liberals. You called me a liberal, all right? They support so... capitalism. They're, uh. they're not part of it. I don't oh, support he's, ba he's, he's backing off already, the little coward! He's backing off the fucking- he's backing off his way, he's like, Oh, if you, if you oppose capitalism, then you're not part of this. WEAK! These people, who are these people who left Twitch saying you're referring to? A large part, part of the social democrats that, uh, accumulated around the gutters in this platform. The gutters in what this platform. Who? He won't even I mean, call anybody else. Who, who he, oh, <laughs> oh, Windleby, his bitch quotient has, like, doubled or tripled since when you were here. Welcome back, by the way. Yeah, yeah, he's like tripled down on the bitch juice. Yeah, I don't know. What that Just is. say a fucking name if you stand no, no, by but, it. Okay, but this is this is not about me trying to show anyone. Oh, coward! I, I just want to be clear who you but, are. You're no about. one but, is even here. But, it doesn't matter. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, well, I love the people that are here. Everyone's okay, jumping. but jumping. Everyone's ready to get ready to jump into my jaws. The point is, we don't agree. If you are a liberal or you think capitalism has redeemable, then we fundamentally Yeah, we're not don't liberals. Agree. Okay, okay, we're not liberals. Okay. So then what's so you your so you what's the point? You guys are very socialist. What kind of socialist would you describe yourself as? Oh, I don't do uh identity politics, Mike. So uh, please okay. so we're gonna, tell me we're gonna tell me what you're of talking about. Of ideology that No, it's not corner, ideology. It's, it's you. Form. It's okay, you it's saying <laughs> if you could liberate yourselves, why haven't you already I don't see it happening. If you don't want me a part of your movement, if you want a black led movement, we don't have time for that. Okay? If 60% right. of the like population that. That are going to take Mike, over, oh, dude, it. I will Absolutely fucking not. play it again. I didn't say, I, I don't, I don't, if I, I did, I was definitely not speaking. Uh... The, what, what oh, the for how long? I never for said how black. long? I'm a, I'm you said a... it's almost like everything can be reduced, reduced to class. How about that? Yeah, absolutely. Class is the uh, is the single. You most said there. I said it. Element of our culture, like we understand that under capitalism, everything is structured around our class relations, right? No, it isn't. Like, we get no, it fucking isn't. You fucking idiot. No, it fucking isn't. We still have disgusting structural racism, disgusting structural transphobia, disgusting structural homophobia. You fucking idiot. You're just wrong. You are in denial. You sound like a right winger saying, oh, we solve racism with the, with the civil rights movement. Hey, welcome back. You, you don't understand that? Yes, or you don't understand yes, that? You don't and that, that? yes, you no, we, we, we all agree with that. Um, but it's okay. also inextricable Great. to race, and you cannot have a class based movement without uh, so racial is race justice a on or the human created concept. And is it, oh, oh my god, your okay. mask off, so, man. Okay, so, okay, so, okay, race, no, whiteness okay. is a social construct construct Absolutely. right but it of is a, it's a social very it's garbage. very real thing that is being done to people Absolutely. black people are treated as as subclass citizens okay if you don't bring them at least 
up with us to this like level of class that we this is where have. We Zanzi, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. I I know I know that like that like I know that that's trying to be charitable to him, but it doesn't matter. This guy has a massive platform, and he's go and he's doubling down on a position that's just wrong. So it doesn't matter. Um, I agree with everything you're saying. Oh, Jack Wally, by the way, just so you know, Jack Wally it has been banned from YouTube chat twelve times. Jack Wally is like I don't know what the fuck they're obsessed with, but whatever. This is, this is do great. you though because yes, you do. don't know because you said very different things and if you need hey you know what i got i have uh here i'll i'll I link you to the dropbox would you link. like me would here you, you go. like me to I say got... something or are we just gonna yell um I, I really don't care it's up to you do you have anything okay. that you can defend yourself with yeah I, well, so we can get to the nub of the disagreement so the disagreement comes to it's not a disagreement how do we proceed so let's assume for the sake of 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 good faith damn I agree uh with no you. this is not good them. faith demon mama i'm asking about what uh, you DMDS. said can you I'm... can you i just your said first I, response I... was to call me and mitt nerd libs and that you yeah, were not because, on the yeah, same from side my, from because we're libs. From my experience, from your like experience. chase out, go try to go down these rabbit holes to distract from class based movements, revolutionary oh, movements. Like, distract! Look, he's doing all of the class reductionist shit. Oh, trans rights, b racial rights. Oh my god, those are distraction from a class based movement. Are you fucking kidding me? Is this really what a tw a 1.2k creator on the left is is advocating for? Are you fucking kidding me? Literally, I talked about this in my class reductionist stream. L listen, I think Bad Empanada has a Twitter problem, but I love Bad Empanada's videos. Okay, there you go. No. I don't think any of this is, I don't think much of this goes back to that. What I think this comes down to, 404 Gender Not Found, is whiny bitches like, like fucking Mike from PA being unable to think about things outside of their own perspective because they're egotists and grifters. Yeah, except no, except if you listened for two seconds to anything that we actually said, you would know that isn't the case if you weren't just trying to like find a way to cover well, I mean, your you ass and, you and dismiss you wouldn't claim, like, my... You wouldn't claim whether or not you believe in revolutions or not, so it kind of leads yes. to What the fuck is a revolution mean? One of three throwaway questions he used as his calipers for whether we're socialist enough. Well, no, like, okay. So oh, like, yeah, yeah, If I have yeah. to convince you that socialism is right, then we have a different starting point for the No, we don't. We don't. don't. No, you don't. But I think, we don't. I, I, think that don't. I might need to. No, you actually don't. This is, this is quite literally what Mike is doing here is quite literally the exact same thing that he criticized other people of doing. And like I said, Radlib Mike. 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 From neoliberal. That's what we're talking about here. No, you. We actually. We actually do not need to do that. What hey, I'm trying to do is get you to be precise with what you're saying, as opposed. To... I'm being precise. Mike's not even a tanky. Mike doesn't even. Mike doesn't even have the spine to be a fucking tanky. Let's be real. Yeah, I know. I can't. I can barely hear him either. It's it's on Ico's end, not on mine, unfortunately. Sorry about that. She she who knows no name. When I'm Rhetorical. saying that what you said in this, uh, yeah, Mike the wanky. I took a 13 minute yeah, he's a wanky because I just could not, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need a new term, a wanky. That's a great name. We're gonna call them wankies from now on. They're tankies who don't even, who are such LARPers that they don't even get, they don't even have the spine to be a tanky. Wankies, new term. Thank you. Who just made fucking who made that up? Who made that up? Cuck capitalism, fucking points believe that the clip i was sent had to be in context but it was actually worse it was worse than i thought that it sounded it, and every out. time i li i listened to it i played it two times mm -hmm, here mm -hmm. my fucking face started twitching because i cannot believe that mm -hmm. you would have the audacity to fucking mm -hmm. say this shit and then pretend that you really care you still care like the fucking like oh in like parentheses like oh, small cookie cookie it's 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 on this it's the problem is with the stream the problem is with the stream itself um in Ico's original stream the audio was turned down 
um, for Mitnerd. So it, it's not really, we can't fix it, unfortunately. Yeah, sorry. Print, like, oh, we definitely still need to dismantle white supremacy. Blah, 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 blah. But, but, no. But, okay, I mean, so I, okay. So we have to talk about moving things from theoretical like you know we believe i'm talking about what you said to reality so like how this is reality of what you said yeah, exactly. it's not it's about, about me i'm talking supremacy. about you Wanky i'm talking Mike. about you what do you do say again i do white shield work on the ground how about you i've been in i've been involved in in black lives matter protests uh, uh oh uh oh uh oh mike uh oh Mike. And oh. movements led by people Wait. of color. I think you could put an audio filter in OBS for the desktop audio. A compressor would fix it. Oh, really? I gotta learn look into that. I don't know much about audio. Since like twenty thirteen, but Oh I mean, my god, seven whole years out yeah. of your life? Yeah. That is so insane. And I'm sure Let's that they love when you're actually. like we don't well, have I mean, time like, for black led movement. People without the battle scars are the ones to say that the time doesn't matter. True, that's the thing that's fun. funny about all this. Like, excuse so, me. I, and, and by the way, I'm not trying why to measure. Excuse me. I'm not trying. I'm not trying. I'm not trying why are you to... assuming our battle scars are any I, of your fucking business? Okay, right? I'm not. That's because you just challenged me and asked me, so I answered. And then no. now you're getting now you're getting fragile about. You it. asked about the the shit on the ground. Let, we're not. We're okay. Uh, let's say that you are. Fucking like the like you have bled for black people. You threw yourself in front of a bullet for, that was gonna murder absolute uh, a black person uh -huh. from a cop, and then you mm -hmm. say all of this shit. Absolute larper. It still mm -hmm. doesn't negate the shit that you said, right? I I mean ultimately, like I think there's a difference between what I was talking about, what you're talking about here. Um, Here, you're you trying to dart around. Sort of you literally shit, started off with saying that we were libs. You said that you we were libs. I mean, I have not been because, that and then you said more POC drone pilots. That is not the thing. That is not anything to well, do would with it be what good? I said. I mean, like, um, do you think it would be good if we had more, like, women? No, color, you pilot? are trying to drag her. I do not Mike. think. I don't like, care do when we get a woman president. I do not care when we get any kind of shit. No, I don't. Cool. No, I don't. These are, these are hypotheticals. I'm just I don't. Really and we are not measuring oh, okay. my level. I think it, the only way to through this is if you have to both take a moment without interrupting just to state what your positions are because you both have an idea of what they are, but I don't think... I'm trying to do that, but she keeps jumping over me in time right, to talk. Well, here's, the here's the opportunity to do it then, okay? We'll go Iko first being her stream, then Mike afterwards, but neither of you can interrupt each other, okay? I, I, don't, I know Iko didn't want this to be a debate of sorts, but I think establishing some sort of rule here Holy is the only way shit. we're going to get through it, okay? I, I think I think one of the issues that's behind the scenes is that, you know, um, certain people that I don't like, want... They might be, Joe. I don't okay, think so. Okay, I want to go first and explain my views? <clears throat> no, no, no. no go ahead. Your own views. Explain your own views that you have personally of your political uh, beliefs as they pertain to this, okay? So, Aiko, can you go first? And Mike, can you okay. shut up? About what? Just, okay, what are your political yeah. beliefs? Because Mike has these ideas of you being a liberal and things like that. So can you just Oh, I don't care. And, and, and sort of define as, how sort of class and race sort of oh, is the um, command not working? combine We're... within those views. Okay, so this is the thing. I care about people. I care about people having yes, we're still talking about Mike. to live. I do not, I like to focus on um, each individual being able to have the food, shelter, uh, healthcare, everything that they need to live, if we are equal, I believe that, um, we can't have a, uh, a yeah, sub, uh, mm -hmm. like a second, uh, lower class tier of yeah, an I'll do entire sure. group of humans that are getting, uh, murdered by cops. We can't continuously sell black people out over and over and over trying to uh build on the momentum of the uh the rage and the the grief of people I believe being very strongly murdered in accessibility. and then try to turn that into our own very thing strongly. because we don't like being called white we don't like being having it be said that black voices need to be uh the ones leading the charge 
And uh, because they are the first people to get sold out on the table, we can't reduce this to just strictly, oh, if we fix class issues, that will bring all of us together and then we'll all be fine. But right, my right. focus is, wait, uh, okay. before that, well, before that, that hold is, on, that hold on, it's done. Mean, it's all right, really Mike, I will just okay. mute you if you don't, like, I don't, so, Are you okay. Are done or no? All right, I could, can you just oh, take, no, 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 like, I'm just saying, I'm finishing, I'm, I'm finishing what I was saying, which was that I don't care, this is not about me and what I believe, I'm not uh, a liberal, okay. gotcha. it, but even if I was, it wouldn't fucking matter, mm -hmm. because what you said you being the one who's like, I'm so fucking socialist. I've supported black people for seven years. I'm so fucking cool. Like, you're the one that said shit about, uh, I don't want to be a part of the movement. Like, if you don't want me there, 16% of the nation is going to take over. If you can liberate yourselves, why haven't you yet? Mm, it's about you. It's not about me. Okay. All right, all right. Okay. So, Mike, turn and I, I hope you just... Right. Oh, hey! Evelyn Tremble says, listen, listen, Mike. Uh, it Iko's turn is up, and now it's your turn. Kay Swiftly, Kay Swiftly, okay. if you want so to come okay. join, so you like, are I, welcome I, to. I do, not want, I do not want to talk to Kay Swiftly. All right. Um, oh, okay. I wonder so why. Can, can I, I talk? talk? Please, please. Yeah, just give him a second. Jesus. Right? Just give him a second, all right? Okay, so so what Echo doesn't know is there's some personal background stuff where mm. I have decide Mit Nerd, shut the fuck up. Seriously, dude. Uh no. Shut don't talk to Mit don't okay, Sorry, I will mute yeah, you please, if please. you stop. If you I'll just mute you. Okay? So say your piece. Everyone's into Mitnerd's Mit Nerd's background. Uh spamming my fucking ears. Alright, if you wanna run away now that right, Case Whipley's yeah. here. I mean, like, okay, this, this okay, I point. see how it is. Alright, alright, right. 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 I'm sorry I'm, I understand how you feel, but just be quiet. It, it, basically, it just, just, uh, just, just, just pure say, garbage. Right? Pure garbage. Alright, so there's there's a background of interpersonal shit that is obviously coloring this that you don't know about. And you're being used to manipulate. Nice choice of words there. Like, it's fine. Like, it's not, Who? It's not on you. No, I'm the one that showed relevant. other people this. One Mike, person what her, that her motivation is. You, you okay, okay. And I'm doing. going. I'm, They're I'm all talking to, over each other right is still making noises. All right, Mitnerd, Mit please, can you just shut up for a moment? Okay, um, Mike, can you answer it as I phrase it? So you just got to state what your position is and why you think um, Ica's actual view this on a political okay, I'll level. Give you, I'll give you an example. So this this has a longer context. And no, my I personal view, my personal view, secondly. yes, I'm going to, oh, okay, don't interrupt. Me too. Me talking. So, personally, I'm I believe sorry. in a cross-racial, international, working-class movement of class liberation. And that involves dismantling oh. every institution, shut the fuck up, of mm. power that supports I capitalism, please. including racism, which includes white supremacy, which includes patriarchy, it includes heteronormativity. All that is part of a He's larger so structure He's so fucking mad. capitalism. And all, all of those equally must, okay, please. All okay, of those must be dismantled in order for liberation and class because capitalism will Wanky continue stay to mad. persist if we allow racism to persist, obviously. However, from a practical sense, what I was arguing, from a practical sense in American politics today, where we saw black- Wait, what benefit of the doubt do you want me to give him, Jade Monkey? Like, what benefit of the doubt is there to even give? What benefit? He straight up said he's a class reductionist. Do you want me to make- Do you want me to, like, like, make an alliance? I've already said, I'm very clear. I don't ally with class reductionists because they conveniently will leave people behind. They will leave everyone else behind. Yeah, I mean, my name is Nemo. Yeah, like, literally. Maybe he's good deep down in his soul. Nah, he's an asshole. Sorry. Maybe, maybe, maybe he's a good person. He's just an asshole in every single, every single time I see him in an engagement online. Black people vote for Donald Trump at a higher rate than they oh, do. Oh yeah, Trump. silent, silent. Remember when there was no racism? Um, remember when there was no racism uh, in, in, uh, in, in fucking medieval Europe? Remember when there was no racism in any other time of the world? Yeah. Mean. We need to have a movement, and that included other groups of color, of people of color, increasing their support for literal fascism. And we need to have a movement 
that does not exclude agreed zonzi populations based on their immutable characteristics whiteness is absolutely a construct that is damaging to liberation in this country and i would never doubt that and i'm not trying to say and of course i i support all these movements the frustration that you're experiencing is i have met people who don't believe in what i just said about a class-based movement about liberation about dismantling capitalism mm -hmm. there is a type of liberal i think you've all run into them who want to scream about how kamala harris is great and you can't criticize her because she is a black woman and True, they, they take the language we talked about at the beginning of intersectionality of wokeness and they use it as a way of upholding and reinforcing the status quo that's what i'm opposed to i'm also opposed frankly and it to people in this chat who for example when there was a man in portland killed oh here he goes again crying supporting uh, the Black Lives Matter movement. He happened to be a white man. Crying with his fucking down. anecdotes. Crying about random anecdotes of random chatters who triggered him so hard that he's based his entire argument, his entire class to reductionist take on some random chatter who fucking triggered, triggered him. Holy shit. Right? In the moment after his death, when I was covering it, they came in my chat and basically accused him of being an op, a, a part of the government. A, a, a Mike didn't even know Mike is using this guy to, to undermine cynically, the support. The critical Mike is support. right here cynically using a dead man to make him feel make him feel better about his shitty position. That this man needed and the movement needed at the moment. And mm. that really pissed me off. Pathetic. And to say that this guy should be thrown and basically his name dragged through the mud purely on conjecture and made up bullshit. And then right after he was just murdered by a fascist hit squad really put a bad taste in my mouth this yeah, that's, guy? What that, that's that... the context of if you don't want me to be in your movement was that I was what it was actually though? talking about black lives matter i was not talking about these oh, move movements no. i've been a part of i was talking about specific people in twitch i did a bad job the 16 percent of the population I, 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 no 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 and the, but and i and it is ridiculous to think Refresh. that we could have a movement Refresh, that yeah. didn't involve people of every race Listen that's here. an absurdity that's an absurdity. It doesn't mean that white men out. lead the liberation movement. I would never say that. Obviously, you need to have black people leading the charge and dismantling white supremacy. That is, mm. And by the way, all these We're people know that that's my position. We're and listening if in on... If they're saying something differently... We're listening in on a, on a follow-up confrontation about Mike from PA's um, class reduction stake. This is Ico. This is Ico on the screen right now. That's who you're seeing. Uh, I think the site had a momentary outage. Let me just double check. There. Okay. Should be back. Everything should be back now. Just refresh. Okay. Yeah. It just had a small outage. Just a small outage. All good. And because I was actually very pissed off because of, you know, two weeks ago in the election when we're, we are facing down the barrel of the reality of the fail. His point, um, she who knows no name. Mike's point is that he believes that we should have a class, a, a class reductionist movement. He believes we should focus on class over anything else. See you soon, Martini Peterson. Failure of uh, the coalition. I mean, Joe Biden got elected, but oh, I don't know if you know this, but everything else was was the coalition with Libs was a total failure, and the Republicans actually increased their power everywhere but the presidency, and we're in much worse position politically than we were before the election. Right. Not. Wait. So one person had a bad take, and now Mike is a class reductionist. Yeah, basically, that's where we're at. I mean, he was always like this. Yeah, the link. We have all the clips. Yes, that's literally what he's saying. No, no, no. She who knows no name. Um, we we went over his clip before. He literally said, "You could say that we should reduce the movement down to class." He literally said that. I'm not kidding you. Like literally, he actually said that. That was in the that was in the the clip that we watched before this. No, you didn't miss the stream. We still have tons of content to do. We have a ton of content to do. I'm bringing you guys lots of fun stuff tonight. Don't you worry. Notwithstanding the presidency. And that was the frustration I had was we have liberals leading the charge, leading the argument. And now and the result was an increase of support for fascism among, among people of color. And they have no account for it and they have no plan to fix it. What? And just saying like white men are the problem is not going to liberate shit. You're not oh. going to win shit. And by the way, I am I have been oh. on the 
I have been one of the people, in fact, for over a year, talking about white fragility in my own stream. If you actually watched my stream for the better part of a year, you would know that I have had people of color. I've talked about white fragility. I've talked about whiteness Black constantly. Black friends, too. Holy shit, that's such a coincidence. All right, okay, stop. Okay. I mean, like, so um, this, this, the, this person who keeps cutting in said, Iko, please stop, is, is actually, like, not doing a good job modding. Just saying. My lawyer is half Asian. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Basically, everything I... So, what are you confused about? Basically, I had a a, a, a moment of of frustration at liberals. And a moment those, of frustration. He had a heated bad. gaming moment. Mike from PA had a heated gaming moment and decided that he was a Nazbol. Oh, boy. It gets better, huh? Faith, who, wanna, who basically what boils down to is more black vice president. Yeah, but, but, oh, see, she was, but she who knows no name... Then I have to ask, why would you be willing to die on this hill? Because usually that's an indication. The hills that you choose to die on are usually an indication of your genuinely held beliefs. If he's willing to die on this hill, what does he actually believe? And I would say that even this hill, even dying on this hill is bad enough for me to say he's not a fucking ally to me. Um, but let's just imagine how much further. Nazbol's a bit much. Well, yeah, but I'm not saying he is. I'm just saying, you know if you go to that position as a prosecutor oh she upheld the fucking uh prison industrial complex well she's a black woman and that's progress that's the kind of shit that doesn't well, who work who are and you talking fact, to that's it that's oh, what yeah, my okay. stream was about Mike, if, I can, if i can just inquire so there you go that's it that's the full context what are we confused about yeah that's okay and that's oh. just what i want to clarify i can let you speak in a second but there's just a couple heated reductionist think, moment if, if i ask would hopefully channel this wait one place, one but... second um k right. swiftly yeah, but the motivation's like, I don't know. I don't know. I just wanted Welcome back, to Cable. be able to uh, make sure that case. He did reductionist has... moment. I, I don't know. I feel like he did Nosball moment is funny. I mean, her Boys, position wait, is clear. shut up. Yeah. Shut up. Don't shut up. Uh, because what he said to me off. No, you had a moment of frustration with me where you called black politics of exclusion disgusting, but okay. Uh -oh, in response to K me swiftly. saying white people uh -oh. have no place in black liberation was know, we'll that's an abhorrent politic but again go off uh no you that's had a moment like, of okay. frustration with me where you called black politics of exclusion disgusting but okay um yeah that's actually see this is this is i'll the tell thing. you what are the you okay. were oh so i was i was actually her? there i was actually there I, let me just say what, what happened so basically we had a discussion where i threw out the hypothetical of a black fascist because of there were black proud boys that were attacking people in portland and i said would you be okay if it me to defend someone else uh, in self-defense attacked or uh, 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 responded to an attack from a black fascist. And she told me, N you should not respond. And I said, that is an abhorrent politics. Sit That's an insane politics. I don't even I know what he's talking about. This is fascist. nonsense. I don't care what color of skin they have. I'm fighting fascists in the street. And this is going to be she amazing. She said it would be I bad know. optics. And I was like, okay, well, I don't think we have the same politics. And that was the end of our, like, conversation. Wait, Case Swiftly said that would be bad Yes, she politics? did. That was a fucking insanity. And that's Listen, when I said you're her No way Case Swiftly would be... never fucking she say did. optics. Do you want to come right. on here optics? and call me a liar? Mike, Mike okay, uh, Mike, okay. So, can we agree? You said, uh, no, please. No, not right now. Um, Mike. So you, you said you agreed that the moment of frustration you had in, in the bit that I could clip, you said you you worded that or you weren't satisfied with how that came off. Was that right? I, okay, first of all, I, I, I think weasel. I was very clear. Did I not Fucking just say weasel. That? Oh, that's I, what I'm trying to work out. Oh, so you're taking back the other thing. Absolute weasel. Uh, Mike said, how is 60% supposed to liberate itself? The point is... The idea this is embarrassing. that you can't have, you shouldn't have a class-based movement is ridiculous. Humanity is organized by classes, and racism it doesn't is used matter. to uphold that. And the okay. entire construct of racism was created to uphold that, which is yeah. why you can't dismantle white supremacy without dismantling capitalism. Liberal. You also can't dismantle capitalism. Okay, so I agree. I so said what that is, earlier. Why are so you confused? Did is, I not say that earlier? No, no, no. Okay, right, so right. what? Mike from PA, here. Mike from PA 
thinks he's the white savior, the cis white man savior that we've seen a hundred thousand times. The big, he thinks he's going to save the world and elevate us all from, from fucking poverty and our, our stupid idiot woman brains are too stupid to understand coalition building. That's what, that's what Mike from the P, from PA sees himself as. He sees himself as some kind of white savior in reality. He's a fucking loser who yells into t into Twitch to to a thousand to, to one thousand two hundred people or whatever, and then just grifts all the time. Fucking wanky, a fucking wanky all the way down. God complex for a wanky. Imagine thinking you're like the modern fucking Stalin or some shit, and what you do is you stream on Twitch. What a coward. What an idiot. What about you, you saying? How is 16% of the that. population going to I agree, Leaf, what, that's take shitty. over? Hmm. I wonder what you meant by 16% of the people. And when you say that you were just 16. addressing specific people. The point is that practically, as a matter of like praxis. There I'm is talking no about way. what you Ooh, right. actually right. said in that moment. Don't, I just said, don't talk about a, I, I, I am, I'm swiftly. telling you what the answer is. Yeah, I said that. And the answer is because in praxis, in reality, you cannot have a liberatory movement without white people involved. I'm sorry, you can't. Practically, oh, in the on. United States yeah, of America, of all, you're not going to dismantle white supremacy without white people. There will be people, I'm sure, that happen to be... Please no, tell me you disagree with me. Listen, we, we... Okay. He's a coward, yeah. Wait, what? Who, me? I was just oh. getting Mike to, to give you the chair. Yeah. Um, okay, so... He's serious, fuck, I yeah. I distracted. He's serious. Um, okay, so I want you to focus on specifically what you said and not your True explanation devious. of why so it gross. is correct. So you stand by that despite you... Okay, speaking as a white person, I do not know how to take that. What do you mean? What do you mean? W take which? Take which part, Jade Monkey? I love how he's preaching class solidarity but being fucking terrible advocate for it. Oh, true. He's do This is not good advocacy. This is idiocy. He's kind of right about the fact racism relates to classism and upholding of both structures, but going hard against anti-racist movements is to cut your nose off in spite of your face. It's this, but this is, okay, do you think, like, here's the thing that gets me about class reductionists. Do you think that women were not oppressed before capitalism? Do you think that trans people, gay people were not discriminated against before before capitalism? Do you think that racial conflict didn't exist before capitalism? Do you, they they literally believe that capitalism causes all bad things. It's it's this worldview of capitalism as the ultimate evil and once you beat capitalism all of the other problems will go away without you have, having to do anything. You won't ever have to think about those dirty women or dirty gays or dirty trans people or anything ever again. It'll be so nice. We won't ever have to think about their stupid shit again. I can just keep being me and thinking about what I want because I'm an egotist. That's what, that's the position that they're coming from. Uh, saying that it was unfortunate wording before and your initial reaction to me yeah, history isn't wanky strong suit to be fair white people do help in libertarian of action of racial minorities but they're they are not the backbone or the thing minorities have to rely on we save us we help us and that doesn't mean that you don't build bridges, but you can't build bridges with someone like Mike from PA who is willing to fucking boil down the entire movement to a conversation about class. Revealing this to people was to say that obviously exactly, we're libs Zanzi. and obviously we want more POC drone pilots. True, Because the Silent. type of person who would disagree with what I'm saying is not on my side and is not, is in fact a liberal. Hmm. Everyone so, who disagrees with you is a liberal. Well, I mean, okay, yeah. do you disagree with that? What have I said that you think is incorrect or wrong that you disagree with? Oh, God. All the you don't have anything, shit then, that you... Mike, no, 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 no. Mike, let them finish. Okay. Who? Me? And the EU and, and I mean, there's a greater context to my stream. This is not Mike. the first time I've talked about these issues. And I... 
And that kind of context should probably matter, right? Instead of trying to take something that is obviously oh, we're still, something we're still digging related in. to. Uh, Mike from PA has dug himself about neck a neck deep in a hole, and he's still embarrassing himself. He's being called out by nearly every creator in his space and is still doubling down. Developments in politics that are happening. Yeah, at Mike the is a terrible debate. Talking about it's actually how hilarious. Liberal movements have. And we, I've seen this happen many times where people try to shut down yeah, solidarity down. and go, you know, no white people should show up at the Black Lives Matter protest. That's some liberal ass That's, shit. No I'm one sorry. has ever said it that. Is. He just made that up. He just, that is not. That is a... right there. He What he just did is he just did a fucking Sargon. He completely made that shit up. No one has ever fucking said that ever. No one has ever said that. Socialist movement. No. So I'm pretty that? sure that's not what that means. I have had to call. Here's K Swiftly from chat. K Swiftly, I've had to call him out several times for doing active harm to black people by doing shitty framing and shitty representations of black people. Would you, uh, wait. I've had to call him out several times for doing active harm to black people by doing shitty framing and shitty representation. Yikers, of Mike. Black okay, you called me out. Great. That's nice. Why okay, are you so, so, okay, so, K so. Okay, K Swiftly, you are honestly. I have to say that I very I am very disappointed that you decided to come here and interact oh, with you're me when I told you. Shut the fuck in no up, Mike. Uh, no Case terms, swiftly. I don't want to interact with you. You okay? So this is like a, this yeah. is actually a violation of like boundaries that I set in the past. Oh come on, you fucking are you for real? Okay, this right here, that right there, that line right there is what people talk about. When they say um, people weaponize the language of social justice, saying um, my consent and, and boundaries are being violated because I'm lying about somebody on a stream and they're calling me out. That is weaponizing the language, the aesthetics of, 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 of social justice for his own enrichment. Terrible. Actually fucking terrible. Yeah, but that's one thing. Disagreeing with somebody on rhetoric is one thing, Kez. Jesus Christ. And I hate to do this oh, publicly. I hate but, to do this. Yeah. But it is what it is. I'm sorry that I have to cut out a strong black woman who actually is an activist that does real you just shit. just don't know about her personal relationship. I, okay, so I don't care head. what your I interpersonal... Hey, okay, she okay, could be on. an no, asshole no, in, like... It deep down, okay, and it doesn't start, matter. Start. Okay. Mike, Mike, so you're saying this is not a political thing as much as it is a personal issue between the yes, two of you. Yes, it is. Separate. Yes, it is. Right. Yes, it is. No, that's no, I understand. If you're uncomfortable with that, that's that's separate. I understand. I mean, like, so, I, and that's the thing. Like, people don't, you know, they, it's a, it is what it is. I'm sorry to say it. I I tried my best to keep it private, but if you're gonna come here publicly, try to like you fuck don't with need me. to say like, you don't that's need ridiculous, to. man. Okay. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm just, I mean, I, hey, I'm just, uh, if anyone, uh, wants to know what this is, is about, Holy this is, uh, shit. I had 13 minutes of room. Uh, for... I, there's nothing. He refuses to acknowledge it. This is what he's trying to do is desperately save face here. And, and he weaponized the language of social justice to save his own ass from a shitty take because he knows that, the, that he's posted cringe and will lose subscriber if he doesn't. He needs to be able to fucking lie his way out of this hole as fast as possible and he's only digging deeper screen recording the what he actually said so you can do your own context okay, so what i'm I, what not I here said, to change hearts and minds what what or I've say do not opinion. watch mike i'm saying that this is the reality this person makes money from talking about no uh shit. racial injustice I, I, uh, right so you you are R responsible you are true to be held i go for shit that true you so stand extremely by it. true don't call people libs because they disagree with you just talk about the matter at hand see you soon max okay right. I, I mean okay so karen from pa so, true i mean i don't Get know how you operate is blanky. Go, but maybe if i true were to go on my stream and then just start shitting on you this without is cringe i really like up, mike well mike is cringe and then Expects happens. you to come in and be cool as a cucumber and be like, well, you know, this is cool. Uh, especially if Yikes I didn't from watch PA. your content or didn't have any context of what you've oh, been doing on wait, Twitch. Oh, wait, you should. Gina, I, you should. You're definitely on doing. there. Like, then, yeah. And I actually think, uh, all, all in all, it's pretty nice, quite frankly. Um, 
but what I'm trying to say is everything I've said t- tonight, does it conflict with what I said in the past? I don't. The, what? I don't care. What I'm saying is, do you, you, do, you, do, do you disagree with what I've said tonight? Yes. Do I disagree? Yes, everything I've said upheld white supremacy tonight. I don't remember everything that you said. Well, because because you that's the thing. She knows, she who knows no name. I don't think that they do agree. I don't think we agree. I don't think we agree with Mike from PA. I disagree with class reductionism. That's fucking weird, Gina. I added you. I mean, here, I'll, I'll try and work on it after. Dying and calling us libs. So, yeah, I actually do disagree with uh, with a lot of the lib flinging that you did. Okay, you disagree with the lib flinging. Fine. I will this say that last you guys night. aren't libs. Yeah. Other than that, the interpersonal stuff, from a matter of theory and a matter of, of practical politics. Okay, what I'm going to step over to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Holding white supremacy. Right I would back. love to hear the answer to that. You all I don't enjoying. care. Right I back. care about what you said in that moment because you know what? People don't give their bad takes every moment, especially when they're being confronted with them. So stand okay. by okay, so what you said and in the way. That's... Not cool, but okay. She says, white people have no place of black liberation being discussed against fucking white supremacy. That's not what I said. What I said was, if I'm on the streets and someone is being attacked by a black fascist, and your answer is, I can't intervene to protect that person because I shouldn't be a part of doing that, I think that is abhorrent. I think that's a poor apology. I don't think that we were talking about is that in relation to that statement of yours, to that sentiment about the black fascist. Okay, okay. That's where that's where the sentiment of okay. And by the way, I really hate that. What, what I answer my question, Mike? Well, let's say, can you ask it again? Okay, so the clip we were playing, I did, um, was was that was not in reference to this black fascist discussion. That was separate. Is that correct? Wait, say again. The discussion, well, the, the point that you just brought up now, this is the black fascist example. That mm-hmm. is a separate topic to what it, it was in Ico's sort of segment from the Amy. Okay, Strange that was the context. That was what was in the back of my mind when I said it. That was what I was thinking about. That and and frankly, I I agree with you that this is not the way for me to make the case. I actually think this. I think I fucked up with how I made the case. Um, oh. in, in, the, in the but, stream, you agree. But, you no, 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 but, just clarifying. Mike, Mike. But, so you're saying you agree. You made the case badly in the, in the bit that's been clipped. Um, you, you, you are now yes. explaining what you think was in the back of your mind. Well, um, no, no. I, I, I'm saying what I said then still is in, in still lines up with what I'm saying tonight. And what I'm saying tonight is that you still think to, you fucked up as well. I well, because you can say things rhetorically badly and still. Yeah, okay, so, so agree with we them. just need to clear that up. All right. So you it's say, you almost said it like. Like, we can reduce it to class. There, I said it. That is what you said. You Absolutely. said, you said Absolutely. it. You said, yeah, you knew what you were saying. You knew that you were going down as a road. matter of practical politics. Like, we should be uniting. You on class really lines. think you, okay, how do you feel about ACAB? As I love ACAB. I've been defending ACAB okay. for okay. 15 months. So do you think that when, if if Kay Swifley says that uh, white people have no place in black liberation or, or whatever it was, Which do I you never think with that, that uh, means, uh, do you think that means that white people can't show up for black people? Back, you I'm think back. that literally if your no, skin color is white, I'm you back. can't like, no, oh, of don't not. intervene. That would be ridiculous. That be is, in third position, yeah. Which of I course, yeah. So why that. would you? you why would you think that's but I, what but she some meant? Some people do th- because that's what she. No more chair says. stream. She Don't you agree stream. that whiteness <laughs> is a, uh, a a part of uh, the white supremacist uh, structure that we have to keep each other divided, to keep each other uh, focused there you on. Go. Um, you know, away from YouTube. the actual problems that are going on, do you fix on it? The call Mike. Hot Choco. Chair said again. Um, what I'm, ta- what I'm telling you, you right Lilith, now. I appreciate okay, that so, a lot. Okay. Thank you. You're right that it's an absurdity to believe that. Uh, and and I and don't she does not. That. I've talked she to her. Does. No, she doesn't. I've right talked now. to They're her. Saying, for example, Silver just said, uh, hold on, let me see this. Uh, I, as a white person, should tech a black fascist oh, no. always is not a good take ever. I literally never said Oh, no, no, no. I agree. I agree with you, she who knows no name. I don't think that there's... I, I think... But I think that his political view is incredibly naive. 
Yeah, he needs to do some self-reflection. I don't think he's irredeemable. I just think he's being a fucking shitty grifter who's quadrupling down. At this point, he's like 10 times doubled down. Everyone's giving it, given him an opportunity to stop. Tons of people engaged in good faith. And he didn't. And this fucking wanky didn't. Said that. You're an idiot. I said, you in the are the one that's that called us lives. in Portland. By the way, this existed. Not even KFC. Where a black fast yeah, I had a good, black proud You know what? Took advantage I disagreed. Of white... I disagreed really strongly with KFC. I got really mad with KFC. And guess what? We still had a fucking conversation. And we actually were able to work out our differences. Because KFC didn't fucking double down a bazillion times. We had our disagreement and that's it. Mike is just fucking embarrassing himself. And he won't. Liberals, residents, to defend people. And they attacked and beat the shit out of someone in the streets. Oh. No, and people the would not fucking... respond with self-defense to the black fascist because they were held in check by this white liberalism that was afraid of fighting back. And I said, oh. in that situation, oh, so I, yeah, there's someone named KFC. I, I would defend them. I'm yeah, I had, a, I had a, me and KFC had a throwdown in the past. It was a long time ago. Kentucky Fried Comrade, comrade yeah. But it's all good. We, we, we talked it out on stream, actually. I'm sick wait, of wait, you don't PC it, culture. Man, wait, 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 wait. it's what to not fight fascists. We can't criticize black people. God, that's what? reverse that's racism. Like, uh, what, I don't that is reverse racism. Am I unclear? Am I unclear? Am I unclear? Can you just explain what you think Mike's position on the whole black fascist thing is? <laughs> Come back soon, Jade. I think we'll that it soon. is uh a very self-centric view uh, that you, you have anyway. any explain, right. Explain no, no, this is this is what this is what this is. Wait, what? I'm sorry. I What's mean, the last um, thing? just just in a kind of a practical sense. Yeah, absolutely, Rakasan. Have a like, good night. Moral view See on you the soon. situation, because I don't know. I, I think you might be speaking past each other. Oh, oh no! Urist. The thing is, welcome, welcome, Eurist. We are uh, digging down into the the uh, Mike from PA class reductionist arc, and uh, as it turns out, damn, Mike from PA literally said that he was a class reductionist, and now he's cowarding out and saying a bunch of stupid shit and calling everyone who disagrees with him lib, even though he's obviously wrong. And Iko is bodying Mike from PA, and we're enjoying it. We're streaming a stream, yeah, because I want to listen. As much as I think Mike from PA is a stupid wanky, um, I would love, I would, I, you know, I want to give him a chance. I want to hear what he does. You'll be able to, um, Eurist, you'll be able to catch the VOD. I'm going to put this VOD up for sure. That, okay, so he came in here. He called me a mitt nerd uh, libs and said that okay. we want more POC drone I already, pilots. I already said that. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm reconstructing. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. I'm saying this is what I don't care i'm not offended i'm saying that this was your immediate go-to was to dismiss what i was saying which was just showing what you said which i thought was fucked up that a lot of people think is fucked up because it is oh i hope you'll uh, talk you to me you immediately to went to oh you're relevant I'd love because to be able you're to tell him how he's wrong on this for no reason we were not talking about anything else um what I am saying is that in your, the viewpoint that you were coming from in that is that as a white person, you have your white person power to lend to the, uh, the oppressed, um, because you are so benevolent. But if they don't Did give you what you- Gambino, right now we are talking about Mike from PA. Mike from PA is a rather large content creator, lefty content creator, or he claims to be a lefty on Twitch, uh, who recently just had a big, uh, big blowout of class reductionism. We talked about what class reductionism is and why it's bad in the beginning, and now we're digging into Mike from PA and finding out what he actually believes, and then we're going to do a wrap-up before we do some other really fun content. I have a ton of fun content tonight. You want... Oh, no, no, of course you're not going to say that. I'm saying this is the POV. I'm I'm saying that. Okay, we can remove you from this situation, okay? We can remove you from this if you want. Let's talk about a person, a white person who automatically assumes that they have a seat at the table that is theirs and they own it and they will allow, you know, this person of color, this oppressed, marginalized person 
to sit next to them. And that is the graciousness of, uh, of what they're doing, that you will help stand with them uh, and change hearts and minds and, and you know, Very take, condescending. take on wounds for them. And Do you shit, know what this is called? This is what is called chauvinism. This is called chauvinism. It's a white savior complex. Yeah, it's really bad. Oh, it's really bad. And it comes down to someone saying something, uh, you know, like, uh, that's dismissive of, like, white suffering. And you're like, fucking, fuck all of it. If you don't want me in the movement, if you say that I should, the Chauvinist, right, if you yeah. can't tell me the exact right thing to do in a hypothetical black fascist situation, uh, I think it's a pretty then easy I'm over it. <laughs> I, no, I, this is I, a I, this I, thing that people do. When people ask for ex uh oh am i like i get asked this uh like way more often than you would than i would like uh but i've been asked oh yeah uh, this is nothing compared is, amy therese is, is long if i can i write Wait, amy, about amy therese is a nazi though amy therese is a nazbull like amy therese is an actual nazbull uh i don't know goddess trans girl probably not Japanese internment if I'm not Japanese like as a comparison to like black experiences and white experiences uh like white people uh dealing with uh the circumstances of how black people are and have been treated here um it's if you actually want to help you don't ask am I allowed to do this am I allowed we can talk to about stop after. the black fascists you do the thing that you do in the moment. That's not what this is about. It's not about your ego. It's not about, it's just you do what you can in the moment to support people that have every reason to be suspicious of white allies who are not there for them when the shit hits the fan. You are like, oh, well, uh, wait, this I'm is just going to make this about. I said this. This is what I said, too, at the beginning. Remember, I said that when the shit hits the fan, these class reductionist types will always leave their allies behind. It's They're telling you. They are telling you what they're going to do. If they won't take your concerns seriously now, why would they do it when things get harder? Why would somebody like Mike from PA fight for trans rights in the future if things get harder if he won't right now when it's easier to do so? It's, it's simple. It is that simple. And I know some people want to be like, oh, well, maybe, maybe, maybe. No, it's that simple. They're telling you, I'm not willing to fight now. So if shit gets more fashy, I'm not going to fight for you to be not go into the camps. It's that simple. It really is that simple. About class, uh, obviously we have to, we have to obviously get rid of white, dismantle Penids. white supremacy in order to, uh, achieve whatever yeah thing. it's pretty but, bad Gambino. Uh, you know but true on and a transpo tonight, bleeds while you were in the chat that white supremacy is a central pillar of capitalism have you have you noticed um zanzi have you noticed how uh how much class reductionism and turfism run hand in hand this is a this is a little inside hint from a trans woman who's been on for a lot on the internet for a long time look real closely any of you who aren't trans, look real closely at those those class reductionist circles and you're going to start finding, ooh, shit, there's a lot of little turf grubs r rolling around in here. There's a lot of little turfy bugs running around in here. Just saying. Weird how that works. Yeah, Angie Speaks, Kelly Zahos, Coffin. You don't even have to look closely. They're all over the place. Yeah. Sh true. That is kind of weird, isn't it, Gayfesh? Yeah, Amber's a little turfy, too. Coffin is not personally openly transphobic. Coffin just, just very loudly defends people who are disgustingly, disgustingly openly transphobic. We talked about this on the Drama Mama. If you want to watch the, if, when the Drama Mama goes live, I'll, I'll probably upload Drama Mama tonight. You can, you can check up on it. Because... It's a little deep, but, you know, it's actually important. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, not, not just a Patreon backer. Silent, 
Peter Coffin backs a open turf who's incited transphobic hate campaigns against other public creators in, on a public platform, not just Patreon backs them, has retweeted them, and also has openly defended them. Peter Coffin is, yeah, we, we did, but we did, but not that much. Yeah, patronage, oh, major patronage isn't an, ador an endorsement. Coffin was back in the day, yeah. Yeah, I'll try to do that. Yeah, that's a good idea, Kossith. I'll try to do that. I'm trying to get better at that. That's a really good idea. I'll try to do that. Yeah, no, like, I, I, so but that's like a... Okay. Uh, Chong is a Nazi. A, a literal Nazi. True. No, no, no. You can't it. say... It's, it's right. Integral. But it's the first... It's... It's the primary. Thing. You're all right, Britt. First, don't worry about it. We can't. Yeah, we can't begin. I'm a socialist and not a liberal. Of course, I believe in dismantling capitalism as the ultimate end goal. Okay. So wait, wait. Not notice. Notice the word choice there from Mike. Oh, of course, I believe in dismantling capitalism. His end goal is not an equitable world. His his end goal is not an equitable world. He just hates capitalism. The ultimate end goal is dismantling capitalism, not building a better world. What tier is purple? I think purple is a tier three. Do you it should show. It should show. Let me let me tell you. I can be sure of it. I know. Is it tier four? Tier four. Tier four. Thank you. Yeah, tier four confirmed. Thank you so much. It's tier four. Wow. I didn't even wait. Holy shit. Sea of Cheese, thank you so much. Was that on the other stream when I was really distracted? Thank you so much. I I'll shout you out again now. Thank you. I've got my own, like, I've got the YouTube stuff on mine. Yeah, yeah, sorry. The colors are sorted all weird. I'm trying to fix it. It's a small issue. I can tell you right now. Let me just tell you. I'm subbing so I can change oh, that's my sick. name cause I, I, I like remember switching it now. my name. Let me just also, let me just bring this up. I'll really tell you all the colors. Hold on. Give me a and I want to support gotta, it. I got to go onto my site real quick. Wait, whoop, that's not it. There's the site. Where is it here? Here we go. Colors. Uh okay, tier 1 is yellow, tier 2 is green, tier 3 is is cerulean blue so like light blue and then tier four is purple there you go yellow green light blue purple that's the colors there you go also just a quick break for all of you who are in the youtube chat make sure that you press the like button on the stream and consider coming to my website demonmama.com forward slash live Because we'd love to have you. We'd love to have you up on the screen. All right. Back to the content. Back to the content. Here we go. Join the club. Wait, are those the Teletubbies colors? Uh, no, we don't have a red. Red is me. I'm the red one. Look. Boom. I'm the red one. I'm the only red one. Think that, do you or, think or, or, that they, they, people they, 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 like just go mask off 24-7? Or do you think sometimes they get mad and slip? Like, I'm not comparing you to yeah, a, a bit Nazi. Steamy right like, now. I'm really not. But do you think that just because someone says, oh, but no, I'm not racist at all. Hello, Peacecraft. That, oh, okay, they're not racist. I'm Poe. Okay, well, I mean, at the oh, end of the okay. day. Yeah, I got to give you a um, mod politics, status, Sylvia. Give me a minute. Is, you know, kind of silly and I think abhorrent. Silly and, that, and that abhorrent. I, that says... Mm. Like, and this is supposed to be an easy hypothetical. Obviously, if fascists oh, yeah, are in yeah, the street I gotta get, doing I gotta street get violence, this in. I'll do that after. We all, we have an obligation. Sorry, we're still getting used and, to the site right after all the changes. It's not because I want to talk you don't about have this as some sort of heroic. We absolutely do. What? No, no, uh, blue no, no. is tier three. If you care, fabulism. if you say you care, blue is tier but you three. don't have to care. You've I'm committed about yourself here. to. You absolutely, as socialists, have this ob obligation. I'm not saying. It's supposed to be a very easy question, which is like, yeah, there could be black fascists, there could be fascists, there are people of color, there could be women fascists. They're enemies. Obviously. And when they're no in the streets doing violence, in the moment, it absolutely is justified to practice community self-defense. That's what I was arguing. Yeah, Hyun, I don't know why that is. The person to say no to that, to that was so mind-bogglingly insane to me that I was like, okay, we are just not, like, I we're so far apart. You need to go work on your politics. And that's wow. that.
Um, and you know what? If you disagree with me, if you think my, that you don't my, agree my with me, that's my, fine. We're just not on the same team. I don't know Mike, what to tell stop. you. You're on the. You're on the. I don't think we're thing. on the same team. Mike, stop. Mike, stop. That's I the mod. Really the mod is trying to say Mike, stop. No, no, no. Okay, can we just admit no chance to speak? He wasn't able to before. Uh, your, your framing oh, yes, continually please. regresses to your fixation on the hypothetical. Your framing continually regresses to the fixation on the hypothetical. Hypothetical. Hypothetical, obviously, of the black fascist. I. The hypothetical of the black fascist. In terms of your very positive view of, of your class reductionism. In terms of your very positive view of your class reductionism. Hey, thank you, AOC. Deeply appreciate that. Green thank New you so Deal, much. Green New Deal, Green New Name. Thank you, Green New Deal, Green New Name. Yeah, of course, of course. I do have some things I, I, I want to pose to you and question you. So okay. I do have some things I want to pose to you and question you on. Yep. God. In terms of you thinking, you know, class is the basis, uh, class liberation is the basis. Of In terms of you thinking that class liberation is the basis human liberation. for human so liberation. Our, con our concept of class was developed in the our concept of class was developed context of the white in the context of the white supremacist world. Dialogue, right. Um. So this is a this is as, a very nuanced question. This is a very nu as contemporary socialists, nuanced question. This is a very nuanced question. Uh, the answer is of course, but it's a, okay. there's a lot more complexity to that. Yes, and there there is there is, and I'm glad that we. There is there is. I'm glad I'm glad that we. We know there's more complexity. We know there's more complexity. Answer, we both agree on that. We both agree now, on that. I want to think about. I want you to think about this when you talk. About I want you to think about this yourself. And yes, these are things that you. Hold on. Let me just roll back just ever so slightly. Here we go. I can see where your question oh, is going. All right. So here's what, here's what when I say on. reduce down the class. I can see where your question is. Oh no! What? We're at four fifty one thirty four. Four fifty one thirty four. Yay! Green New Deal. Green New Name. You don't think? Uh, you don't. You don't have to pick the new name when you sub. You don't. I can change it. I can change it for you. Um, the Phantasmic. Um, we'll just talk. Uh oh, was that a duplicate? Uh oh. Four, 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 fifty-one, thirty-four, four, fifty-one, thirty-four. Person. If there was a duplicate, we can fix it. Ah, oh, fucking ads. Fucking Yo. Ads. Fucking ads. I hate this shit so much. I fucking hate this shit. Where do you get subs here? Up on top, just click the subs button. Subscribe button, you click it, and you can do it all from there. Pocket stream. There we go. That are, that are, That's saying words. Here we go. And trying, and just like trying they to... They have not. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know. I think that it's really True, fucking just of... like a, a, like a... Listen, hot pockets like can a... be okay. There are some okay hot pockets. See you soon, Cheap Tar. I don't, I don't know. Do you realize that you are the bad guy in this? Like, you're not the victim, you are the bad guy. Like, you are the one, you think that you hmm. oh, have if this. Your name, if your name color doesn't show up right away, log out and log back in and it will update. The server just takes a few seconds, but if you log in, it will automatically, it will just, it will prompt the server to update. There's just a small delay. Yeah. Fucking authority. Thank you, you so much for the sub, Sylvia. White person power that you yeah, were Yeah, if you just wait, it'll fix. Them. But now you're not because you just... You just complained one too many times. You called me white too many times. And if you're going to keep saying that white people are fucking not good allies. Yeah, there you go, Sylvia. Thank which, you. I mean, hey, I think this is a good example of why I would be very, uh, you know, suspicious of anyone that was Thank like, you so much, AOC. Uh, going Appreciate to, that, that a lot. said that they care. Why would you just believe someone? Why would you just welcome someone into your space? Why would you take someone Look in at all these beautiful and colored trust names. them? So wonderful. And then have this happen. Why would you invest anything into just anyone? Like you're not give it you're Michael not has a good point bestowing here. It's funny. It's funny because Mike says, "Oh, we can't afford to do woke policing when we're moving forward." 
But you want to know what's actually true? Actually, you can afford to do wake, woke policing because people coming from a position of privilege have more than those who would lose from, from allowing fucking transphobes or racists into our space. Don't worry about it, Lilith. You're all good. You're good. No one ever has to sub. I make my content free for a reason. Much love to all of you. Sub only if you can afford it. Pawn someone uh, be just because you planted yourself somewhere. You don't... That's not your space. You don't own it. No paywall. Never will be a paywall. Like, no one needs you. You are one little man. Oh! Yeah. Holy shit! Well, that's shit. the thing. Holy shit! Oh, Iko, you are one little man. Oh, I love it. Oh my god. One little man. What a sad, strange little man. Aw, oh, thank you, Sylvia. That was so good. T Murder on stream. TOS. TOS. Holy shit, Iko. Critical hit. Holy fuck. Look at her. She knew she knew she killed it. You can see in her face she knew she killed it. <laughs> you know what? I every time I listen to this shit, I get more and more fucking mad. Um, so this uh the person that sent me the clip, they sent it to me for a reason because I just don't let shit go. Hey, Peacecraft, with all due respect, I am not going to take your opinion on what is successful in leftism. You are, you don't even know, like, your own viewpoints, let alone leftism. Like, I, like, again, I, I don't think you know what the fuck you're talking about, with, with all due respect. Which, again, you know, when it comes to leftism, not very much. Do I think that there's more libs like Destiny? Wait a minute. There are way more people by definition Ico's approach is more is more um is is way more inclusive by definition because guess what with Mike and Destiny's approach Mike and Destiny's approach alienate huge swaths of the population by default Ico's does not now while Ico might need some rhetorical improvement at some point or another oh hey no thank you so names. much look at that gifted Epimetrius, thank you so much for the incredibly gifted, the incredibly generous gifted sub. Really means the world to me. Thank you. Yeah, most people don't have a co coherent worldview or ideology, but if you build your ideology in the way that Mike from PA and Destiny do it, you are inherently exclusive. Destiny's an asshole when he debates, but that's okay. He's, he's a good debater. He's just an asshole. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure, Marinara. I mean, we can hope, but... Oh, until people know. So it's like, fine. Like, hey, I'm not going to tell people to not like him. Yeah, he does go I also, that. like, I understand uh, if if the things he's saying, if it doesn't make sense to you at the moment, like, why it's so, like, fucked. Um, that's not your fault. Destiny, if you're easy. Not Are you kidding me? Like would, I rather have, would I rather have Destiny or Mike on my team? Destiny, are you fucking kidding me? Destiny is so much better of a debater than Mike. Like, by, like, literally, they're not even the same galaxy. Destiny, 1,000%. Destiny says some stupid shit, but at least Destiny's a fucking progressive and not a giant grifter. The, the, if you don't know what all the things mean, if you don't know the implications, if you don't know, like... Like, I, I get that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He Somebody, really uh, does. here. He I wouldn't have agreed with this. I would have been, like, nodding along. Like, Wait, it didn't work. Like, she was probably as recently as two years ago. This is the kind of thing that... Somebody, um, can somebody the put the link for, um, for ex-fabulism? You know, yeah, fancy name! We start to mistake it for a legitimate power... Oh, sorry, let me go back a little bit. I didn't realize... Let Mid was talking. go until people know. So it's, like, fine. Like, hey... I'm not gonna tell people. I don't know why the shadow like command isn't working. I also like. I uh, the understand. link. The link to the um. The link to the sub up above. The link to the subscription button. Um. It's it can be hard to press on mobile. Here, I'll get it for you. Actually, I think I can get it. Let me just grab it real quick. Here, one minute. There you go. 
Bam. Got it. Here we go. I got you. I got you. I got you. Boop. Oh, there we go. Everybody beat me to it. Everybody beat me anyway. There you go. And uh, if if the things he's saying, good, if it fabulism. doesn't make sense to it. you at the moment, like why it's so like fucked, um, that's not your fault if you're not in like the the i know the, the command know isn't working what right now, all Gayfish. the things i know i mean, thought i had if you it don't on there know the implications i may have busted know, my commands like, we'll fix it after like i i get that true but he really does he I wouldn't does have agreed with this i would have been like nodding along i wouldn't have agreed with this i wouldn't have been nodding along says mit nerd like 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 she was probably as recently as two years ago. like she was as recently as two years ago this is the kind of thing this is the kind of thing the power and authority that our privilege often affords the power and authority that our privilege often affords us as, you know, the white settlers, as white settlers is something that is something that to mistake it for a legitimate power and authority coming it's it's easy to mistake it for a legitimate power and authority from something else that comes from case, something else I think it's that he's become convinced that the power and authority i think that he's that he re referring to mike from pa i think that he's become convinced that the power and authority that his privilege affords him that his privilege affords him authority he has earned from being it is being mixed up with power and authority that he has earned being from correct or from being, being correct. correct and as a result when and as a result power and authority's basis has to be a, when that power and authority's basis attacked, has to be attacked the legitimate organizing he wants to facilitate and participate in. uh to to facilitate organizing in and build and build and he feels attacked then he feels attacked and hey he, he yeah can't, he doesn't self-examine he can't self-examine it he's not willing to either shut up and he take can't he can't self-examine it he he can't he's not willing to to the face himself or shut well, up and listen to the um, other people in the liberal oh he left wait he left oh wait it reset fuck it, fu it fucking reset i was skipping backwards oops stand by that despite you uh saying that it was unfortunate wording before and you here we go here's where we were we agree. i'm said, dumb uh, but he's please, right no, mitner's right. right now um mike so you you said you agreed that the moment of frustration you had in, in the bit that i could clip you said you you were to that not true jade satisfied monkey with how that came off was that right i okay first of all i i, I think i was very clear did i not just say that oh I, that's what I'm trying to work oh so I you're taking back the other thing Uh, Mike yeah, said, How I feel like you're right. Shuffle to liberate itself. The point is, the idea that you can't have, you shouldn't have a class-based movement is ridiculous. Humanity is organized with, by classes. See you later. It doesn't matter. To uphold that. See you and later. The entire Aces, contract good, of racism was created or whatever you to uphold work. that, have a good which work. is why you can't dismantle white Much supremacy love. without dismantling capitalism. Liberal. Well, that's fine. Wait, that's fine. Okay, so I. That's perfectly fine. I don't either. I don't like that either. I agree. I so said that what earlier. Is, Why are so you confused? What Did is, I not say that earlier? No, no, no. Right, okay, so right. what about you saying Thank how you is 16% of the population? Thank you so much. You're super Thank awesome. you so much for the sub, Fabulism. Really appreciate that. Thank you. And going to what? Take that line over? was from a while ago. When I refreshed, it went back. I wonder, wait, was I at three? Was I at 451? Was I at 451? Yes. Going to okay, here's where we were. It's 451, not 431. Class. What happens to societies, cultures, and groups that need to join in this human liberation a for whatever ahead, the yes. future we wish to construct that mm -hmm. do not either agree or accept the Western, the Western concept of class for reasons that are beyond the class analysis? Are they the enemy? Do you exclude them? Does the indigenous perspective need to die so that socialism can no. be achieved in that perspective? That's not what I said. Uh, well, I, don't, well, that was I don't think it's what you said. No, That's no, why no. I am asking you these things. No, if your framing is class reductionist, what do you okay, do? If you're the okay, I didn't say. Want... If your framing is class reductionist, what do you do with people? I didn't say. I am. I didn't. Oh, okay, now okay, cut okay. him off. I say you should. Okay, 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 right. okay. I, I did. See, I can it see did fabulism. All right. So here's here's what I say. Reduce down the class. That is not actually class reductionism okay the purpose of that is because class reductionism would strip all those things out and i don't agree with that but what i was saying is as a locus of organizing class we should reduce it to class 
And that is the that's the argument oh, of what I'm talking. I'm talking about organizing. I'm not talking about theory. I'm not talking no, about Wendell, the high-minded no. goals that we are from 40,000 feet. I'm talking about on the ground when you go and talk to people, when you organize a union, when you're in the streets, when you're do canvassing, when you're talking to people about dismantling white supremacy. What's the way that you approach it? Is it do you go to people and say that they have a tremendous amount of privilege? And that they need to give up their privilege and they need to take a back you seat. killed your alternate so, universe, and you. Is that be. actually effective organizing technique? That's and, not how you frame it, but it is. And I absolutely do, don't think it is. And if you do, that's fine. And that's where, that's why I was saying reduce it down to class. Because that's the thing that you can unite. And then when you have people in the tent... That's when you He's can start just mad. talking about. This is a pathetic argument. Uh, oh. uh, you can talk. You can start talking about it. And we can what happens start when talking about race. Are, hang on. Because you have to create hang solidarity on. in order to to actually have a conversation. Oh. If you've so, ever talked to white so people about their wait? privilege, you can't. You can, it just doesn't work to uh -oh. come in there and say you're all privileged. Like race after class. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's how it goes. And then people get. I said it was the locus of organizing. Under the bus. Hey, yep. this is what's this at is the bottom of priorities. She's right. Basically, how many I goes correct. Like, how, what are you talking about? Thank you. Come on, man. Come on. Yo, Encray. Thank you so finally. much for the tier two sub. Based. Don't forget to log out and log back in so you get your fancy name. Thank you so much. Seriously. No joke. Your support means the world to me and i really appreciate you all are supporting me because on youtube we weren't able to get many subs and stuff like that but now that we're back on the site we can mike is unironically doing oppression olympics here crying about how bad white people have it yeah that's what he's doing it's so bad i is based damn i'm tripping i thought this combo was happening currently no this was from last night this was from last night you're good it's so bad sylvia yeah it is it's so bad Nice. Yo, thank you, Epimetrius. Use... Yeah, Epimetrius, Literally thank you so much. Deeply BSO. appreciate that. Won't someone please think of the what people? Privilege discourse, though. But Mike, wait a minute, Mike. Mike, thank, thank you. Wait so a minute. Much. <laughs> See you soon, Leaf. Much love. Oh, no, can you go like now? Unions are literally not helping their members Mike, and not helping up. black people. Okay, fuck off, Scab. Like, get out of my face. You're blocked. <laughs> Wait, he just said fuck off, Scab? Oh my god. For somebody in chat who brought up reasonable critique of unions, he just said fuck off, Scab. <laughs> Mike is not some sort of union organizer. Mike is a Twitch streamer. Mike is not some kind of hardcore union guy. He's a fucking Twitch streamer. So embarrassing. This is the greatest LARP I've ever seen in my life. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Mike. Wait, what? Mike, give Mint a chance to talk, all right? Silver is a LARPer, and he's give saying- Give him, he's give him a chance idea. to talk, or I will okay, mute you, you, okay? Oh, will you give him the space? Okay, See uh, you soon, Hyun. <sighs> all right. Go ahead. Shit, now the thread's run away. God damn it, because he had to yell- True! Away. Totally not, JP. That's fine. Give me a moment. Also so true, Shuffle Kitty. You bring up a great point. Every time he might kept going, he was going to actually make it relevant to what I was asking him. Okay, well. Oh, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, um, it's I'm reading. Now. Okay, Mike. So Mike, the, you're talking about the thing about that was a... base. Oh. Yeah, go so, ahead. So Mike, you're talking about you know reducing it to class as a way for practice. So Mike, you're talking about reducing it to class as a way to practically practical and on the ground organizing or to and for practical on and on the ground organizing i can obviously produce what would easily be considered anecdotal examples. i can obviously produce what would be considered anecdotal evidence examples of how that simply does not work of how that simply that doesn't work do have the common interests of liberation we seek but those can all and how I, I couldn't catch the second part always be dismissed as anecdotes so instead broadly if you're organizing on the ground broadly if you're organizing on the ground down in this cross-racial you know con in this cross-racial context that context we talk about as mm -hmm. having these intersectional things that we talk about as having these intersectional things have very good reason to be completely oh my god it's doing it again uh groups have very good reason <laughs> when well, your day is too ad. post worthy yuck why? Yuck! What is this shit? Fucking fuck Twitch! Fucking Twitch! For God's sake! Not even YouTube is like this! 
to stay in or witnessing a miracle. Go big with delicious nachos. Another ad? Two in a row? Only at Taco Bell. What is this Get fucking yours shit? With Taco Bell delivery. We alienated from the Westerner socialist discourse on class. So mm -hmm. do those people not belong? In the I know, but because the subs are hard to, to manage. Them with language beyond I do, class, well, or because you have to engage them with a context yes, that does not reduce it's complicated. to class the way you want? Do those I think, uh, okay, 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 okay. So now what it you're does. talking about is a strategy for organizing a particular community in a particular, that every organizer would tell you, 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 True, you, I am. you use different tools, you use the appropriate tools. Yeah, well, that's, that's true. It does Gina. not show that there is a ceiling on reducing organizing to class bases. Doesn't that of say, doesn't that is. point out that there would be a ceiling in basing organization around a class basis? Which is why I specifically open um, this conversation. I can't show with... VOD. Well, can I show VOD chat? Let's see. I don't know that I can. Can I? Oh, I guess I can. And unions ain't meeting people's material needs right now. My oppressors will not and cannot be my liberators. KG, KJ Brooks. 44% of union households voted for Donald fucking Trump. 48% of non-union households voted for Donald fucking Trump. Clearly these unions that exist are not helping their members and it's his, and it's a historical fact that unions have been anti-black. I don't know anything about KJB. This is just a quote. I don't know anything about this person. It, but it is absolutely true that unions have struggled in the past with race, like severely, severely. This was a huge issue that unions ran into. Talking about KJB. patriarchy, white supremacy, heteronormativity, all those, like for example, you can organize, there's a lot of- No, really you great fucking idiot. I'm sorry, Peacecraft. That was, that was, that was unbecoming of me. No, you fucking idiot. Organizing that has been done based around the concept of queer identity. We all know the stories and how successful it's been. And you go down the line, in particular communities, you organize around the issues that are relevant to those communities. And you, and you bring them into a larger movement, and you begin political education. So in some communities... That's part of it, Gambino, but also keep in mind... Um, uh, just keep in mind that not only was it a matter of legislators keeping them segregated, but there were also people within the unions who supported segregation. This was... This was a huge issue. This was a massive issue. I'm going to do a whole stream on this at some point. We're going to talk about union history in the U.S. and the history of racism. So what? Wait, wait. The claim was that unions don't help me and the data shows that they're right-leaning. You want to know how you fix that? Peacecraft, the answer is so simple. You're so close. You're so motherfucking close to it. You build an intersectional movement and you stop reducing things based on class. You build an intersectional movement because then you build unions that don't discriminate. It's literally that easy. Wow, mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. You build in an intersectional analysis. Holy shit, it's almost like you should have just done that to begin with. Wow. Maybe you'll you'll be organizing around queer identity. Another True, community maybe it is be based. talking about their status and, and immigrants' rights and issues around that. In other communities, you're talking about their class interest. What white mem what white union members can do is work to make their unions more progressive, is to work on changing the hegemonic culture of the union and shift their priorities towards being inclusive. Yes, Zanzi. This is what I talked about with Endernax. White people who are able listen, listen, here's a hot take. If you're a white person, and you're able to stealth into more reactionary spaces, it is your responsibility, cons provided, listen, provided that you want a better world, it is your responsibility to use your whiteness to make the space more friendly to other people. Now, I don't say that in general. Nobody has an obligation to do fucking shit. But if you want a better world, if you want to push what leftism forward, white people who can infiltrate Racist spaces need to work from the inside and fix those racist spaces by breaking down the racism inside. It's very simple. It's that simple. It's that motherfucking simple. I know. I'm, I don't feel like I'm, I'm not blowing anybody's minds here, but it is that simple. 
if you're white and you can go into spaces that are only allowed for white people, you go into that space and you make it your mission to change that place to stop being only for white people. There you go. Back to the VOD. And it's all about bringing people into a larger movement. But when you're talking about the United States of America as a whole, yes, class is the locus of organizing broadly that unites everything. And if that's you're one way to do it, Cody, or you're anti AFL CIO, you're a fucking LARPer, like I don't have that, you're not on my, yeah, okay, fine, whatever. Go talk to your five PSL people. You're irrelevant. This has nothing to I'm do with the PSL, you idiot. I'm going to people about what makes their lives well, better. I feel the need to insert right. these, these straw men who don't exist in because this Because they're chat. existing in our None chat right now. None of these people are here. Fuck chat. Don't look at chat. You're talking to us. All right, listen. We've had enough. We've given this fucking idiot enough time. All right? We've given Mike from PA enough time. We've done enough. I've had enough of Mike from PA. All right? I've had enough. This was a fun conversation. I don't give a shit anymore. We're going to move on. But first, I'm going to wrap this up. We're going to wrap this up. What's the conclusion of today's little adventure? What's today's what's the conclusion of today's little adventure? Adventure. What we learned today is that Mike from PA is no ally of anyone who considers themselves on the progressive left. Now, if you want to call yourself a leftist, but you don't actually want to fight for an honest world, if you're just an anti-lib, if that's all that you are, if all that you really care about is beating capitalism so that you can institute your fucking socialist ethno state or whatever, whatever it is that you imagine perfect, where you don't have to think about the rights of women, the rights of people of color, the rights of trans people, the rights of gay people, that's great. Mike from PA, if that's the world that you want, then great. Your position is 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 perfect. A class reductionist position is absolutely perfect. If you want to get your ass completely blown out and end up with no allies, if you want to help make sure that fascism will win again, go with the class reductionist position. It's fantastic for that. Class reductionism is fantastic for losing your support and alienating your most powerful allies, the people who your worldview is supposed to protect. But if you want to be based, if you want to be actually intelligent, reject class reductionism. And with that said, I reject Mike from PA. Mike from PA, guess what? We don't need you. We really do not. We really do not need a... An absolutely pathetic, wanky bitch boy who sucks at debate, who's only good at grifting through Twitch and, and, and getting subs on your platform while LARPing about how much good you actually do the world while everyone around you in your spaces tells you you're a dumb fuck. Because you are a dumb fuck. We don't actually need any more dumb fucks on the left. And anyway, let's be real. As long as you're towing this class reductionist line, you aren't a fucking leftist. You really just aren't. You don't believe in an in a equitable world, a world that actually abolish class, abolishes classes. Because class and race, class and sex, class and gender are inex inexplicable. They cannot be split. They can't be fucking torn apart. We ha we literally have the concept of intersectionality because people realized that class gets perpetuated along racial lines. That black people are trapped in slavery and then they're trapped in Jim Crow, in sharecropping, and then they're trapped in wage slavery and redlining. And that these, that racism is used to perpetuate the system that you hate. You can't have your fancy class reductionist approach where you win over um fucking republicans or whatever it is you want to aim at but honestly i don't even think you're thinking about the strategy i think you're just acting on feelings i think that you are an embarrassing man child who's so egotistical who's so blinded by their own ego and white savior complex that you're unwilling to actually engage in winning politics so yeah, at the end of the day, Mike, 
the class reductionist from PA, get the fuck out. Or smarten up. Clean up your act or get the fuck out. Or just keep grifting on your website to your, your little audience that will jerk you off so you can feel like you're the white savior who's saving the world in your tiny little bubble. It'll be great. You'll be self-sustaining and everything. And in and, and your mind, the world will be great. You'll be like a Dark Souls character. You'll be convinced, like off in a dream world, convinced that, that the Soma tablet that you take from your fucking shitty ass Twitch stream is, is actually changing the world. But if you actually want to change the world, smarten the fuck up. There you have. There you have it. You can clip that. Y'all can clip that if you want to. What happens to it then is, you know, magical. Go ahead, clip it.